What is your profession? and glory battle report so today guys we've got something really exciting for you we're going to be doing a battle report using the new psychic awakening book the greater good so we're going to have a classic matchup for this channel we're going to have Tao versus Imperial Guard and we're both going to be using new stuff from the psychic awakening book I'm going to be using two custom regiment traits uh, two custom regiments and Johnny will also be using two custom Tau Seps. So what's really interesting about this guys is it'll give you a chance to see how the power of these two armies has improved with the release of Psychic Awakening and you'll get to see that before the books even drop. For those of you that aren't aware, these two armies have gone up against each other many, many times over the course of 8th edition and every single battle has always been really, really close. So it'll be interesting to see the Psychic Awakening has boosted both factions fairly equally. If one faction has uh, received maybe a bit more boost than the other, or if you know one faction has <laughs> been totally blown into the stratosphere. We're going to be running, um, just one last bit of preamble, we're going to be running uh, some fairly good lists, but these are not going to be top tier tournament armies, guys. What we've gone here for is a nice variety to show off as many uh, things from the new book as possible. So, I hope you guys are looking forward to it. We'll be back with the armies, and then after that, we'll move on to deployment and mission. So, here we have the Astra Militarum forces for today's battle. So, we are playing 2000 points match play games, and we will be playing a mission from Chapter Approved 2019. But before we get into that, we're going to take a look at today's list. So, we'll start off with the Imperial Guard. This is an Imperial Guard channel, and so thus, we will go first ahead of the filthy Xenos. So firstly, last last. <laughs> firstly, we have two battalions of the new and improved Mordian 50th Rifles. Now, usually I would use the Mordian Iron Guard Which trait gives with me these guys. Five plus Overwatch and plus one leadership of everyone's base to base. But today, guys, we're going to be showing off a custom regiment. So these guys are going to have uh, two regiment traits. The first one is going to be disciplined shooters. Okay, and what that basically gives me is an 18 inch rapid fire. All my other uh, weapons are their normal range, but my las guns and, and plasma and any other rapid fire weapons I have on these infantrymen are going to have an 18 inch rapid fire. So their long range for a single shot is 24 inches. If they want to get to double tight range, it's just 18 inches, which is going to really improve the amount of las gun volleys I'm going to be slinging out against the tower because it essentially saves me a turn of movement. And means I also don't necessarily have to break cover if I don't want to. I've used this extensively on my Armageddon Steel Legion who have this as their main trait and it is really powerful. 
In addition to that, I'm also going to be taking a bit of a controversial one. I'm taking Wilderness Survivalists. Now, what this does is if you don't advance, you count as being in cover. So if all these guardsmen, unless someone has ignoring cover, will have a four plus save. Essentially, guys, as long as I don't advance, I've got carapace armor across this entire army. Really, really powerful. Now, I know some of you were saying that doesn't seem very Mordian, and that is true, but in the fluff of the Mordians, their uniforms actually have flak weave and carapace armor in their uniforms to make them dead hard. So the way I'm justifying it is quite simply, I'm actually accurately representing the uh, durability of those Mordian uniforms. So that's really good. You can justify anything if you forge the narrative hard enough. That's what Games Workshop has taught us. So they're the two traits on these guys, and I'm taking two battalions with that custom trait. The first battalion has got six infantry squads, the first three of those squads have got a plasma gun and the sergeant has just got a las pistol and chainsaw and everyone else has got las guns. So I'm really taking advantage of the rapid fire trait with these three squads. The next three squads uh, again have got a single special weapon in them and we've got a flamer, a flamer and a melter gun and all three sergeants have got las pistol and, uh, oh sorry, two of the sergeants have got las pistol and uh, power sword and one of them has a las pistol and chainsaw. Couldn't quite afford that last power sword over there. This battalion will be led by a company commander with a bolter, a platoon commander with las pistol and power sword, a lord commissar with bolter and power sword, and a minister and priest with las pistol and chainsword. Moving on to the second battalion of the new and improved Mordian 50th Rifles, we have a, another six assault squads here. No heavy weapons in these guys. They get as many las guns as we can. We've got a flamer and a power sword, melter gun and a chain sword, melter gun and a power sword, and over here another melter gun power sword, another melter gun power sword, and then a flamer and a plasma pistol. So lots of melters and flamers, which wouldn't normally be ideal with this trait, but these are the, the weapons that these uh, squads have always been armed with, so we're, we're keeping it fluffy. Over here we have uh, the leaders for this force, and we have a company commander with a las pistol and chainsword, a platoon commander with power fist and las pistol, lord commissar with bolt pistol and power sword, and minister on priest with las pistol, chainsword and auto gun. So all this makes up about a thousand points. And then running a triple battalion. So I'm using a third battalion, gone totally bonkers on the command points guys. If you uh, watch this channel regularly, you'll know that I am always going on, going on about the virtues of having as many command points as oh, possible. I'm going to have my triple battalion soon with my blood angels. Oh yes, Johnny has seen the ways. It's like every Pure time... Infantry. Pure <laughs> infantry. blood angels. You'll, that'll be coming up hopefully uh, in, a, in, a, in a battle report soon. soon. Just got to paint them. Just got to paint a couple of incestors. Uh, so the tact for this battalion obviously is going to be these three infantry squads. They're, they're not going to actually benefit from this regiment tr uh, custom regiment trait. Because I'm running this battalion with, an, with, a, with another custom regiment uh, and they are going to have the gunnery experts regiment trait which means any random shot weapon so for example battle cannon with heavy d6 gets to re-roll the dice for the random number of shots so if you roll a one you don't need to spend a command point to re-roll that uh, one you can just re-roll it inherently and that's really really good because most Lehman Russ weapons are random shot uh, the second part of their trait is, is jury riggers what this basically means is, if any of my tanks take a wound, on a what I roll a dice at, at the beginning of my next turn. On a one, nothing happens. On a two to four, that tank recovers one wound. And on a five or six, that tank recovers D three wounds. So what that means, guys, is I'm going to have tanks which basically, uh, if Johnny doesn't kill them, they're going. They've got a good chance of self repairing a wound, and even a 33% chance of repairing D three wounds. Which is why I haven't taken a tech priest with these guys. There's there's no point, I've saved 30 points and they're all going to be repairing. So we'll just go into what this battalion actually has. We've got three tank commanders, which uh, is total cheese, I will accept. Johnny is glaring daggers at me at the moment. I just don't have much to say because I'm trying to take it all in, because I'm trying to remember my Tau stuff as well. Yeah. <laughs> so the first one of these uh, tank commanders uh, is, has got a demolisher cannon, the second one has a battle cannon, and the third one has a punisher cannon. Not used a punisher cannon, I think, since the beginning of 8, so I'm quite interested to see it's how it does. It's AP minus 2 now or something. It's just AP minus 1, but we'll go into that in a moment. They've all got um, side sponsors of plasma and a whole heavy bolter. Now, I've taken, I've foregone my warlord trait on one of my infantry guys, 
to give my tank commander a tank ace ability. Now, I'm going to give this tank commander with the Punisher Cannon the Weapons Expert trait, which means that Punisher Cannon is now AP-1. That is a huge, huge deal, guys. That um, means that, that was the main drawback of the Punisher Cannon, to be honest. And uh, that means it's, it's essentially also having ignoring cover on your Punisher Cannon. It's really, really good having AP-1. The next one I'm going to take is for the guy with the main battle cannon. And he is going to have the trait of Master Mechanic. And what that means is anytime he takes any damage, reduce the damage by one. That's also really, really good because it means any time Jonathan gets a big slug through, it's got a good chance of me just, you know, if he gets a, a poor dice roll, or if he gets a two or a three, I'm only taking one or two damage. It's really, really good. The average damage he should do when he rolls that dice is a four. That goes down to a three with this. So that's really good. Um, I have spent a command point pregame to take that extra tank ace ability. The last two tanks, basically in Russes, one with a Demarcia Cannon, one with an Executioner Plasma Cannon, both with Plasma Sponsons and a whole Heavy Bolter. And last but not, not least, we have three Armoured Sentinels. And these all have missile launchers and a Hunter Killer Missile as well. And for those of you that don't know what a Hunter Killer Missile is, it is a one shot crack missile. It's very similar to the Tau Seeker missiles. Except for we don't have to rely on someone pointing a flashlight at something for it to go off with any degree of accuracy. Somehow, Guard Tech is more reliable than mm. Tau Tech. Go figure Games Workshop. <laughs> so, three battalions, that is uh, 18 command points. I've spent one before the game to um, take an extra tank ace, and I have taken one, uh, spent one before the game to take the Vigilus detachment, the Armoured Fist detachment, which means all these tanks will be in an Armoured Fist detachment, and that gives me access to the Hammer of Sunderance Relic and a couple of neat stratagems as well. There we go guys, long introduction, but we have got a lot to talk about with these new armies. Let's see what these new and improved Imperial Guard forces are going to be facing off against. Next up is the filthy Tau Xenos forces. So here we have the totally heretical and filthy Xenos forces of the Tau. Johnny is going to run us through what new and improved things he is taking from the new Psychic Awakening book. It's over to you. Right, so um, first of all, I have uh, something very new and exciting. I have a battalion of Tau Sept. I have... Um... Oh, really pushing the boat out there. So Johnny has decided to take at least one thing from the old book. Well, Fair know, enough. The anchor of the greater good, you know, the Tau Sept. So I've got three squads of seven fire warriors. Um, each of the... Shaz rays have a, have a marker light on them, uh, and then I have a fire blade, and he's got two drones with him, uh, shield drones, and he's obviously got the marker light and pulse rifle, um, and I also have long strike. Um, Which one are you using? Long strike. I'm going to use the unpainted guy, the black guy. Apologies, obviously the traditional apology that I always make when I use my towel. I will one day. Probably around 2025. If you're watching this in 2025, I apologise for still having not painted my towel. Someone, someone do it. Remind me in 2025. Uh, hashtag down below, and we'll see if that the hammer has been painted. I'll by get then. them painted by the 41st millennium. Okay, right. okay that's fair the deal. Enough. That's that's what I'll say that right now. Okay, potentially. So uh, the Black Baron, Long Strike himself. Uh, he's got a railgun, obviously, or the gubbins. Now that is where the similarities end because I am forsaking his ability to buff my hammerhead. So now I have a uh, heavy detachment, but I'm using two new abilities. Um, now, I'm not going to bother telling you what the names of them are, but I'll tell you what they do. Now, the first one gives my hammerheads any vehicles in the detachment. Um, if they move half or less, is it less than half or half? It's half or less. Half or less, yeah, I thought so. It's like my Lehman Russes. Yeah, exactly. Basically, you move, you move one millimetre less than your half distance and you get your buffs. Exactly. So it's basically half. Uh, then you um, get... What was it? It's uh, reroll ones, ones to wound. wound on your weapons, which is going to be really, really tasty. And then the other sept ability that they have is that smart missile systems are AP minus one. Turn to the filth. This is oh, sort of God. basically... The two things that I have been begging for, because I run a lot of hammerheads, I don't have a lot of riptides or anything like that. Uh, I like my tanks, I've always been a mech player, and I've basically, as you can see, had the same Tau army for many, many years, because um, they're all knackered. But um, essentially, this is what I've always needed. My Tau hammerheads now 
fire twice, just like, oh, well, you know, they have a, a boost to their shooting, mm. like the Imperial Guard if they stay still. Uh, and the AP minus one, the smart missiles, uh, just takes me back to having strength five AP ability and like, uh, you know, a seventh yeah. edition and that kind of thing. So it's just really, really tasty. These guys are going to be chewing through infantry, hopefully. Of yeah. course, they ignore cover as well with smart missile systems anyway. So my carpet's armor isn't effective yeah, against, so it isn't these effective vehicles. against these guys. It just cancels it out, so you'll be getting six up saves anyway. That's fair. So that's really, really good. Uh, now, unfortunately, I've left a couple of turrets at home uh, accidentally or misplaced them. I don't know where they are. Uh, so I am forced to take three railguns. Um, so I've, right. got I two this time. I've got two hammerheads with railguns, uh, one with an iron cannon. Uh, and I do have some munition shot, which is, you know, all right kind of thing. Yeah. Well, it's, it's terrible, let's face it, but it's there. Um, so they can do work on infantry and they can hopefully punch through armour. Um, hopefully those railguns will help with your more resilient tank. So you know, because I can't just rely on putting through lots of small damage weapon if you're like halving the damage each time. Yeah. So you know, hopefully that will. Just uh, minus one to my damage. Minus one to your damage, but you know, hopefully, uh, hopefully that will make a big difference. Those big damage weapons are better than lots of little weapons on AP minus one because you'd be taking away less mm. one damage. If that yeah, makes yeah, sense. yeah, less yeah, multiples definitely. of one. Um, so I thought that's you know, hopefully that might turn out the dice gods have favoured me there, misplaced my iron cannons for me. Mm. Uh, so I can use those railguns. So that'll be interesting, interesting to mix up and try different things as well. Uh, and then I've got my elite section. Now I love Viola stealth suits. I swear by Viola stealth suits. The ability to move, advance, shoot without penalty. Uh, Are you taking Viola stealth suits? No, no, I'm not. No, I'm <laughs> That's not, the I'm joke. No, no, I, I, so you I, love, I love them. Yeah. And, because, and also because the two command points which selects one unit fire twice the nearest uh, unit that has just always saved my ass so many times. Firing out like 24 shots um, with the uh, ATS systems on there, making them strength 5 AP minus 1, uh, it just you know, it's brutal. But I am sacrificing that today. So okay. I'm not going to be as mobile, but uh, I'm taking two different uh, traits, set tenants. set tenants, so to speak. Uh, the first one gives me an extra 4 inch range on assault weapons. And it's just your burst cannons, actually. Is it just? Uh, no, the AP minus one is just the burst cannons. Okay. Yeah. Well, we'll look. We'll look it up. Uh, no, I'm certain. I'm absolutely certain. But either way. Oh no, you are right. You are uh, right. I'm so wrong. my <laughs> fusion. So my fusion on the two piranhas. Um, the guys that come off them because they've got burst cannons. Uh, the fusion on the commander. Pulse the, pulse carbines. Sorry. Uh, pulse yeah. carbines. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, and the fusion on the ghost uh, ghost kill because he's got oh, iron breaker yeah. and. Fusion blasters. All It'll be 22 in. inch range. It makes me think that it must be really, really good. The fact that it's only four inch range and not six makes me feel like they play tested at six mm. and it was just so unbelievably Double broken. Double melter range that, uh, at 12 yeah, inches. Yeah, that they yeah. were like, oh no, we can't be having that. So yeah. it is 22, but that's 11 inch melter range. That is pretty damn tasty. Sorry to interrupt, I would say that is a really interesting one though because most people, most factions, Either get plus six to something or plus three to mm. something, but for some reason Tau get plus four. Oh, they're always supposed to be fighting that middle ground, mm. like back and forth duel. Anyway, sorry, that. sorry, carry anyway, on. Yeah, so it's, it's just interesting that it is four. Like it makes me wonder why it is. Uh, it could be any number of reasons, you know. Um, and then I've got two units of stealth suits. Now they're my standards. You know, six guys, two marker drones, um, and. ATS, but now they, there is another thing which is AP minus one on burst cannons. That's my other set ten, which just works beautifully for me. So these guys are not as agile now. They can't fire twice, but they are AP minus two. So each one of those units are at full strength is twenty four shots, strength five, five AP, AP minus, minus two. two, and that's before marker lights. So it's an interesting one because this is the this is the age old debate in forty k, which is do I take more shots that are worse? or less shots which are better and your viola guys would only be AP minus one and the burst cannons would only be 18 inch range but one of those units could fire twice which is more shots these guys can't fire twice so you've just got the two squads but their shots are longer range and a better AP so it's literally I, I think it's it's bang on equal because you'll mean, be firing from further away you won't have to risk jumping out of cover so you're gonna stay durable and when you're just going to be slamming rounds into meat with those guys. I mean, the, my thinking behind the changes to the list are essentially as follows, which is uh, it makes the list a lot more reliable and a lot more consistent because I don't have the models for dual battalion. I would not, never, you know, normally run less than double battalion in a list if I could help it. Yeah. Because you just need those command points. But I can't with my town. 
Um, so making them not have the viola stratagem, although firing twice is great, I can only do it on one unit, I can only do it at the nearest unit, although that never is normally an issue, um, but also it costs two command points, whereas with this, they're just getting that ability day after day, uh, turn after turn, and uh, also long strike normally buffs my hammerheads, but because he's over 10 wounds, he's targetable, so he's usually the first one to go down. Now he's not so as now, important. He's not as important, he's just buffing himself, and whether he's alive or not, he can either be doing some work and the hammerheads are just doing their work as well. Okay. And, you know, I always rely on those hammerheads for that extra anti-infantry punch. Mm. Uh, so now making them, you know, really good at that with AP-1 on the smart missile systems. Yeah. You know, it should hopefully all in all, you know, basically all my best weaponry, my smart missile systems, my burst cannons and my fusion, they're all an additional AP-1 and uh, the majority of them are additional four-inch range, apart from the, the yeah. hammerheads. So, well, it's an interesting list. Uh, I also, just to mention, have five Pathfinders. I've got four Scout Crute, led by Super Dude here, Super Scout, uh, and a Pulse Accelerator drone, and five just normal drones. And again, apologies, once again, I am really sorry for the state of this list. <laughs> and obviously, the Ghost Kill has his two guys. Yeah. Uh, I have a Missile Commander over here. Uh, he has uh, three Missile Pods, uh, and um, something I can't remember. And he has pure tide. And, uh, is that the, the ATS, is it? ATS, that's it. He has two uh, shield drones. This guy has pure tide end gun trip at N gram chip, I believe. Chippy chips. Uh, as his relic. And uh, this guy's three fusion, iridium battle suits, so he's got two up save, and uh, four up invun. So you've uh, got a nice mix of so old, old book stuff. And new book stuff, whereas I have totally a few drones, a few a few drones. drones whereas I have totally sold out and got all for the new stuff. So there we go, guys. Interesting list. What we're going to do now is we're going to roll up for the mission, do deployment, and then we'll do a bit of narrative and story as well. So we'll be back once we've got both these armies and this battlefield set up. So here we are, the field of battle after deployment. The serried ranks of the Imperial Guard looking very resplendent in their beautiful Mordian uniforms. Yes, I will keep thinking about my men against the filthy Tau Xenos horde. <laughs> Today, guys, the story is, it's a classic one, Tau and Imperium <laughs> fighting over an Imperial base. This base has changed hands many times. This is one on the Eastern Front. Some point in the second Damocles Gulf Crusade, these forces have come across each other. The Tau and the Mordians fought last time to a stalemate, and this time both sides have come back with reinforcements. The Tau have brought their heavy New armor. Tactics. New tactics. The Tau have brought their heavy armor to the field, only for the Imperial Guard to do the same thing. No one's mucking about. We're not mucking about. You should see him right now. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> not only a little cheeky zoom, got more zooming. A huge erection from <laughs> his army, and like the hour that it's taken him to set these guys. Every up. man had to be in the right place, Jonathan. <laughs> Every but, man. Also, he's got himself a new tripod, and he is just absolutely <laughs> like behind camera, just like. Look, this is like proper <laughs> movie shit. This is. I'm doing angles and everything, zooms. Right. Anyway, let's get back to the narrative. So, the mission today is from Chapter 3 2019. It is a Maelstrom of War mission and it is Critical Objective. What that means is you draw three cards, you always have three cards, pick a card, come and Kylo coming to oversee the proceedings. But you pick a card and once uh, you've completed it, it goes into your, into your discard pile and at the beginning of your turn, you can pick one of those cards, put it back into your deck and shuffle it. So what that means is if you do a really good play, guys, and score some objectives... She doesn't trust the Xenos. <laughs> doesn't trust the Xenos. Look, there we go. But um, uh, if, you, if, you do, if you do a really good play and, and get a card, you can put it back into your deck and, and you might draw it again later and be able to get that same card again. So it lets you uh, score quite a lot of points. The um, deployment is hammer and anvil, so that's length wave, So that's, it's pretty good for both shooting armies, to be honest. And the objectives we've done fairly evenly. So we have two in the Imperial Guard deployment zone under the two main buildings, one under the helipad. You can just see one behind that tank ace punisher as well. Zoom in. Gotta zoom, gotta zoom. One in the Arbites bunker. And one down here underneath the stealth suits. 
Another one where those hammerheads are. You might be able to see the last one just behind Kit Kat's paw. <laughs> Number yeah, three the there. Points. So there we go, guys. Now, currently, the oh, I should say, do some shout outs quickly on the terrain. All the MDF terrain is from P Work War Games, and the pre painted resin terrain is from GameMat.eu. The battle mat is also from P Work War Games. Uh, and last but not least, the Arbites Bunker was provided by Pandemonium Miniatures. Gotta do those shout outs. Stealthy Bunker is Pandemonium Miniatures. There's gonna be a lot of Pandemonium around that bunker, I reckon. Yeah, so, ap aptly named. I know, look at her. She's trying to, she will knock that off in about a second. So, without so further ado. You should probably describe the actual deployment because you haven't. I will deploy. Yeah, I just have to say serried ranks, man. So, <laughs> so let's actually describe suits. what we've got. So, over, over on that flank, we have the stealth suits. Three units of seven, Three's You describe your bit, there you go. Uh, I've got five Pathfinders, the Warlord, who's got Vectored Retro Thrusters. Uh, well, that's not what they're called. Iridium Armour, I thought it was. Uh, no, that you can take that, that's not a relic. That's oh, okay. just an upgrade for ten points. I believe it's ten points. Uh, and there's drones, and the five other shield drones, and the Ghost Kill. And then, obviously, we've got Fusion Guy down here, Stealth Suits, and then the tanks are laid out. The Black Baron, or Long Strike, is uh, just doing a cause of trouble over on this flank, and the other tanks, obviously. And the Piranhas are under there as well. Yeah, the Piranhas are hidden in this bunker. Yeah. Oh yeah, I can see him. Just see him being a bit sneaky, sneaky. Imperial Guard deployment, fairly obvious, guys. We've deployed two platoons, sixty men in each platoon. Lord Commissar, Priest, two officers for with each platoon. On this side we've got our Melter and Plasma, because we're facing off against the tanks, so we thought we'd bring a bit more anti-armour on that side. And then on the far side we've got the Punisher tank, six more infantry, Flamers and Melters, the uh, Tax infantry, the ones that are in Tan, and on the other side of that bunker is the Tank Commander Demolisher. And that's just a regular Lehman Rust there, with the Eradicator. Uh, Execution Plasma Cannon and the Demolisher tank is out front. Now that is a bit of a controversial choice to put them out there. But, it's kind of puts Johnny in a catch-22, because he's the only tank which isn't in cover. I'm not prepared, spending prepared defences on him, so he is an easier target for Johnny to get. And he is a Demarcher cannon, so Johnny will want to target him, mm. but he is not a tank commander. I'm very nervous. So I feel you, like you're yeah. going to steal. So let's see. I feel like let's see nervous. if I can steal the, uh, steal the initiative. So, I'm going to roll it in here. Currently, Tau have first oh. turn. Can the Imperial Guard steal it? Uh, no, yes, just so you guys you. can see that. For the greater good. It is a three. Uh, we'll be so back. Miss our spam time. We'll be back at the end of Tau turn one. Do you want to draw your cards? See what you get? Yeah, let's see. Okay. Uh, I've got Defend Objective 3. Yeah. That's alright. Okay, I'll just silence that. Uh, over here with Long Strike. That's a good one to have. I've got Big Game Hunter. It's a good strong draw. Mm. And that one is going to be a good one as well, I reckon. Uh, area Denial. Ooh, That's not very easy to hold. But you'll get that automatically anyway. It's going for point. Because um, I won't be within six. I'll be within 12 because I'm on the edge of my deployment zone, but I won't be within six. Mm. So, mm. interesting. So you should. One free point, and then hopefully. If you can defend three, unless I knock you off three, you should be able to get a strong hand. That could be a potential four points minimum. So let's see. What happens going into, ga into Tau, turn one? So a good start for the Tau Empire. We've got... Really feeling those septs. Really feeling yeah. those custom septs. The Delicious re-roll ones on vehicles. It first, <laughs> if, what we've sort of noticed is with the re-roll ones on vehicles, it's not that helpful versus tanks because often you're wounding on a four. So you're not that likely to get a one. But when you're shooting infantry, what tends to happen is you, the uh, half of the ones that you fail with, you get to try again with. And one of my railguns, because I had five marker lights on your vehicles. Yeah, it worked, it worked. It was three zero rolling ones, it worked, it helped. And the burst cannons with the extra AP just speak for themselves. We, we they did all right, they did all right. You are, it is I did shoot twice with one of the squads, so it felt underwhelming. Yeah. But at the same time, without any support whatsoever, without any marker lights whatsoever, they managed to cream through, you know, maybe eight or nine guard per per stealth yeah. squad, so that was all right. It's nice to have AP minus two, because mm. it would have been no saves for you, 
that you went, you spend command point to go take cover on these guys to go to a three up save yeah. you, because you're five up plus one for uh, cover, yeah, for plus one for survival take cover. tactics, whatever yeah. it's called, plus one for these guys. Oops, sorry. So that went back to, up to a five up. So you only lost three there because you got really lucky on your saves. To be fair, you were, you got. My, we're feeling we're feeling set traits, traits yeah. we're feeling regiment traits, we're Those, feeling all the traits. All that armour on the guard made them feel really tough, even with my AP. I think it did, overall, my tanks did well, and my, my anti-tank did well, my anti-infantry did, did just, just over average look, and my yeah. anti-infantry did just under average look, I think, in total. But yeah, really brutal we'll go, killed. We'll go through the turn now. So, over here, the most of the infantry moved forward. Uh, here and slung some pulse rifle shots in support of these stealth suits and the end result of the, the pulse rifle fire and the burst cannon fire is we had one squad that was killed down to one guy who then ran mm -hmm. away and we had one squad that was killed down to two they would they got a six on the morale but I used the Lord Commissar to brain one and then the last the one that remained and got a one and you have spent a command point to do that on D3 and it has been a command point to do that on D3 correct so, and then we also had five guys that, um, no, uh, the four guys were lost from here and then one ran away because I got a six in the morale. Yeah, you did. Okay. So that was the end result of the anti-infantry firepower over here. Um, the ghost keel whiffed. Totally not, whiffed. Not going to lie, he did okay. He wound, he hit yeah. fine. He hit fine, but the problem was is the Lehman Russ is a toughness eight. So he just bounced. He just kept yeah, getting just threes. Kept threes. Yeah, so that, that was just unfortunate. But what we did notice was the extra range on the fusion was really oh, nice. Yeah, getting him within 22 inches, having an extra 4 inches on assault weapons really, is so good. It's so, yeah. so good. It helped over here as well, because my fusion commander just got to within 22 inches of yeah. your demolisher cannon tank. And then he ate uh, four seeker missiles. I put five mark lights on him. Uh, I, I shot four seeker missiles from my piranhas into him. Uh, and a further two and a rail gun. Yeah. Got him down to I think like five, four wounds. You did all right in your yeah. saves. But then the fusion guy, twenty-two inch range. Yeah. The commander just went bang. That's took yeah. those last four wounds. That off, commander no would not have been in range. So it, but it did take, to be fair, two hammerheads, two piranhas. No, one know. hammerhead, two, two piranhas, piranhas, and a fusion guy to kill one lemurus. Fair enough. The, so that demolisher tank unfortunately went down, but that was the non-tank commander one. And then over here, this Punisher tank was defeated by that two seekers, two seekers, and two seekers, two seekers and the and the rail cannons. cannons yeah. yeah. So it so it basically took about two tanks to kill one of one my tank, tanks. Yeah. yeah, that's fair enough. But that seeker spam, I tell you, having the reroll ones to wound that actually I got those rerolls on my seeker missiles a couple of times. Yeah. And just having I had twelve seeker missiles to start with. And uh, although I didn't have rerolls on the piranha ones, I had them on the on the vehicles. Mm. So just my iron cannon uh, guy has seeker missiles remaining. He has his two, but in all in all, if I had ten seeker missiles, eight from the tanks, um, four, uh, sorry, six from the tanks and four from the piranhas. Yeah. So I think all the seeker missiles are gone now. No, no, just the iron cannon didn't. Oh, did he, oh, he didn't, you yeah. didn't. You chose not to fire yeah, him. I fired him at this. Oh, because yeah, you didn't have any marker lights. And Fair interestingly, enough. your minus one damage came through because the iron yeah. cannon. Johnny overcharged iron cannon to get the three damage, which is pretty much the only reason you overcharged no, the iron cannon. Get one wound through because of your saves, but yeah. yeah, But that that one three flat three went down to a flat two, which is just a tickle to a Lehman Russ. Yeah. So yeah, very very interesting. The set the rules came in a lot. Yeah, that is true, yeah. Really useful. The anti infantry firepower over here, the stealth suits and all the smart missile systems basically, they could, what was it, one squad and half three a squad and three extra guys? So that, guys. Yeah, well, not, not, not huge. Not, amazing, not huge. But, but I was making six of saves. Having re rolling ones on, on, the the on the smart missile systems, ignoring cover, AP minus one, re rolling ones. It's big. It's, it's, it's good. You don't, it means you, yeah. you can keep, you can pile, seek, you can pile marker lights onto high value targets. And then you don't need to spread mark lights around because your other units just fire, mm. so everything's just independent. Yeah. It's really good. It's nice having my army spread out a little bit. Yeah. So the Tau also, they got, for the Maelstrom points, they got Big Game Hunter. They've begun defending Objective 3 by using Long Strike and the Missile Commander. And they also got D3 points for area denial. This was a little bone of contention for me and Johnny, but we're going to put it down to the comment section to see who's, who's right. We D3'd it, but it'd be good to know who's right. So with area denial, I had one of my squads on the edge of my deployment zone. So I thought that's within 12, because I'm on you know 24, 12 to the center. 
that should only mean one point. The I sort of argue that if you're on the very edge, you're not next within, you're you next to. So we did we d three it we, we diced it off, Johnny won and he got the on the D three points he got a big fat three. So maybe the dice gods are saying that is the right way to do it. <laughs> Stop arguing, Morning Glory, you've been a dickhead. Right. <laughs> anyway. Um so now so not a bad title turn, but now it's time for his Emperor's Imperial Guard to respond. I'm ready to bring out Stratagem shenanigans, let's see how it goes. I've, not, I've done a wallop that makes me feel like I'm not going to get totally creamed. I'm <laughs> happy with having killed. I've left him his fancy tank ace, yeah. but he's lost a tank commander and a demolisher, so yeah. that's alright. Awesome. And just on camera, now it'll probably fail, but let's see if he repairs a wound. Nope. He makes it, so he's only taken one wound. You're already seeing that kicking in. So, yeah, it is, it is one free wound, but if Johnny... Johnny had to dedicate and overkill tanks, otherwise they're just going to start repairing themselves. Anyway, let's see what the guard can do going into their turn one. So let's see what the guard can draw. Big game hunter. Oh, the big games are being hunted, boy. Yeah. Let's see what happens. Defend objective one. Uh, I've got it, boy. Woo. Okay. <laughs> And let's see what the next one is. Well, it's high. Hold the line. Now, I can't score that this turn, but if Jonathan wants to come within bayonet range, he is more than welcome to. <laughs> Let me get that one, maybe. So I can't get that one yet, but I can get that one next turn. So that should be, should be a full house of that. Should be. Let's see what we can do in our turn one. So, really interesting guard turn, popped off a couple of those tasty stratagems, and I think the overall result was that we, you know, we gave as good as we got, which, you know, in the guard, that's, 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 we're pretty happy with that. So over here, the infantry, we didn't advance apart from with one squad, everyone just slowly moved up and rapid fired the ever-living crap out of everything. Straight away, guys, I'm going to tell you now, if you take an infantry and you're not taking 18-inch rapid fire, you need to go and get your head checked. Because yeah, it's, really it's insane. Everyone is in rapid fire. Everyone. It was. It, it, we couldn't get our heads around it at first. It's a lot of rapid fire. And on a on a pure infantry army, that would be insane. Um, so yeah, it, what the end result though? After all the rapid firing, and everything went. Shooting at some stealth suits, realised the error of your ways, and switched to killing yeah. off drones. So what ended up happening is I killed the two drones here. And I killed two Pathfinders here. Yeah, it's Fire Warriors. Fire Warriors. Fire Warriors, sorry. And then there was some damage over here, but Johnny saved most of it. So you did, yeah, two, so you did two uh, stealth suits as well. Yeah. The stealth suits were actually killed by this demolisher cannon. Johnny got a little lucky on his five up saves, but um, the end result was that two stealth suits were just annihilated by uh, the demolisher cannon, and the rest of it unfortunately bounced off. So that, you know. That was a bit of an attritional, not a huge hammer blow. These guys, unfortunately, were only in range style suits, so they didn't do anything. Um, just because not not rapid fire minus one to hit mm -hmm. is not going to go well with basic lads guns. Um, over here, this cheeky chappy um, was able to absolutely annihilate the five pathfinders that were here. I'm just trying to remove as many mark lights as possible. Um, and then, oh, so, yeah, that was all did. and that was all, that was, that was, to be honest. off other shots at drones, but didn't they kill anybody? Yeah, yeah exactly. With the plasma. Exactly. Uh, the end result is... Um, you fired your for five first with your missiles. Yeah, so that, that, that was that flank. Nothing too special. And then we got on some of the tasty stuff. So these guys, you strike first, strike hard. Did that at the very beginning of the game. They launched six crack rockets. So three from the missile launchers, 300 kilo missiles into the hammerhead that was there and took seven wounds of him. That was pretty, that was pretty good. Yeah, that was good. Um, th I got three wounds through. Three, and shooting on, three hit on twos and yeah. three hit on fours. That's good crap, that's good missile fire. We then, it, was, it was cool having the exchange. The sea, I launched a seeker barrage at you. And I launched a seeker barrage back. back. Yeah. Uh, then this guy used the new stratagem, which is two CP and it lets you fire all your weapons on maximum shots. Yeah. It's absolutely insane. Good. And I wasn't sure if it would, would be overkill, but it was totally overkill. And he actually just blew away the, the hammerhead without even using his plasma yeah. at that you point. You got nine wounds through in the end. Nine wounds through. Um, so he was absolutely nice. To be honest, I probably would have been better crippling two hammerheads. But, but, I've got, but I had big game hunter, so I just wanted yeah, to make sure I point. killed you something. Gotta catch up. Yeah. So uh, then over here, this was this was disappointing. Not gonna lie, uh, the 18-inch rapid fire was great, but unfortunately, Johnny, 
Johnny got a spate of luck and I got a spate of wands and it just wasn't great. And the end result is, is that I only killed one drone from here and one drone from here. Just, I always like to be a little salty in my battle reports. Got, 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 to, got to season it. Wouldn't be a body and glow scarborough gen and battle report exactly. if it wasn't you wringing your hands yeah. with stress. But the salt, the salt <laughs> levels were, is I made this drone, this little drone here, I made him take three armour saves. He's got a three up save. This is, this is in the first round, so we should have failed one. He didn't. I then went, you know what, I've had enough of you, mate. And I made him take another nine armour saves. He's made all of them. And then I was like, you yeah, know there's what? Two there. that's oh, there's two there. That's when he lost one. That's when he lost one. So I was like, all right, so he's made 11 out of 12 armour saves here. You know, not, not statistical. I'll put another round into him from another squad. Made him make another three saves. Okay, statistically, he's got to go at this point. Nope, made them all. I think it was sort of like double six and a five. Just rubbed it in my face. So this... this <laughs> Let's not talk about this. I really hope he gets a marker light and then I'm going to spend the command point on that specific marker light to give the boost me a boost. Yeah, <laughs> Late marker light. So, uh, the, the engineers, uh, we've quickly deduced that these spare tank crew people, they're not here to kill anything, they haven't done anything. Um, and, and then I got a one to hit with my Lord Commissar against a drone, I got a one to hit with the officer. You know, just, you know what I mean, guys. It just. Um, yeah, this, it, the left flank for the guard. The left flank of the guard did good on the anti-tank, but yeah. poor on the anti-infantry. The right flank did good at stripping away marker lights. Yeah. So the end result is we've killed one ion hammerhead, two stealth suits, uh, and two eight marker lights, two fire warriors, and uh, yeah, five pathfinders. So we've done all right, but we haven't really touched the iron, uh, the the hammerhead rail cannons, and that is going to be a bit a bit Taking tasty out over here. Head. Taking out an iron head. It'll be interesting to see uh, how the Tau heavy firepower responds. Now, they haven't got the Seeker missiles and they haven't got most of the marker lights. Mm. Let's see. But I've used those missiles whilst I had the marker yeah, lights. Yeah, exactly. So let's see how it goes going into Tau turn two. Forward. So it was a good Tau turn. Uh, I think overall they they had some pretty good shooting on their side and they pulled off what they needed to do. Terrible objectives. Terrible objectives. We will go. We will cover that in a moment. So um, the Tau castle over here fired and fired and fired and cleared out most of the infantry. I think I lost two and a half squads over here, so that's quite bad. And then the fusion guy over here, he might have fluffed it last turn, but he picked it up this turn and he was able to get, I think, six wounds over here. So that was a... Uh, 22 inch range fusion man it's it's the ghost kill with it's 22 so inch good. range fusion is insane it is so good <laughs> it is so so good predictably the um and, the, tank and these guys man yeah. they just scooted out of cover and we're able to melter this guy for 22 inches. So predictably he died. I realised I made a tactical mistake. I really should have just gone for strike and shroud on him. They'd probably he probably would have made it if he'd had strike and shroud. Johnny got quite a few threes to hit, and those mark lights would have struggled to hit him, and so on and so forth. So, but, but at I, the same time, yeah, I did want to make sure I killed something, but I think benefit of hindsight, strike and shroud yeah, would have yeah, been yeah. better over there. But you know, live and learn. Um, you, if, if you hadn't have killed that tank, yeah. you probably would have died from the extra shots coming in, so I think it's just a balance, isn't it? Yeah, over here the um, infantry fared a little bit better. There was a lot of smart missiles, pulse, most were pulse carbines. Over to that side. That's true, but there was a lot of pulse, um, pulse carbines and also uh, burst cannons. End result was we lost a seven-man squad and a ten-man squad and three from here, so 20 infantry in total. So the guard casualties are racking up, but we only was lost one tank this turn. And the, one of our tanks has taken eight wounds. Now, normally that would be really bad for being degraded, but we can use our repair, our repair ability and our repair stratagem to get ourselves into the bracket that we want to be in. So actually, he should be able to operate on full whack next turn, which will be really, really good. So let's see. Oh, and going over. So the Tau did some lots of killing, but they didn't do any scoring. The Tau hand was amazing last turn. They got secure objective one, defend four, and defend five. Well, five is over there, but I've got obsec, so I'm just probably going to walk onto that and try and deny some uh, some defending, at least for a turn. Defend four is squarely in my heartland. Johnny's probably not going to want that one. That's and secure one. one is also in my territory. Terrible hand. Terrible hand. So he might not get anything this turn. I also, last turn, got my defend. I've got my defend objective one now, and I've got my hold. Uh, I'll get my hold the line at the beginning of next turn. So I'm currently sitting on four points with first blood, and Johnny's sitting on seven points with first blood. But I should get one there. 
So that will make me on five points, and it'll be interesting to see what you I draw. You always get the cards, man. I always <laughs> beat you tactically, and you always get cards to keep you in the game. But aren't the cards <laughs> tactical? Yeah. Anyway, let's see... Yeah, your tactics is you rely on the cards. Yeah. Let's see uh, what the... Not artfully constructed Mont cars and... <laughs> Cayunes and whatever. Cayunes. Uh, I've Cayuned a Mont card, and you still just, get the uh, you want. <laughs> So it's going to be interesting. I'm going to I'm going to need my dice went a bit cold last to this turn. Not 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 off, just a little cold. I'm hoping it's going to swing back round into my turn. It should all balance out. I Let's just see. Love the commander here combined with these guys. He's kind of run out of things to shoot away. Now. Yeah, yeah, like the com commander and two uh two piranhas. Fusion's good now. Agile. What I've learned is I need to put vectored retro thrusters on him because now he's got a 20 inch mm. in, with you know being able to sh jump shoot jump with 22 inch fusion would yeah. be delicious. So we'll see what the guard draw and we'll see um, what they can pull off in their turn two. So I still had hold the line from last turn and I've just, just drawn secure objective one which I'm definitely gonna get and I'm gonna uh, draw Scar the Skies. Lots of flying targets, even a couple of drones, piranhas, maybe cheeky hammerhead. Should be able to get Scar the Skies so we should be looking at plus three points which would put me on seven points to Johnny's seven points at the end of turn two, so it should be a draw at the end of turn two. Let's see if I can scour them skies. So end of guard turn two, really interesting development. So we were able to secure objective one easily and we got hold the line, no problem. We were able to get scour the skies simply by just clearing off drones because we put a lot of firepower into the stealthy boys over here. And Johnny was just taking uh, saving protocols on them. So we actually got that relatively easily. Um, so, but it's only, only one point cards each. So all that has done is brought me up to the same level as Johnny at the end of turn two. Um, in terms of the, the, the stealth suits themselves, um, this guy fired everything into, this is the tank commander. He, I used the stratum again, two CP to go nuts and you get maximum shots. And he actually rolled really poorly. And all he really actually successfully did is clear the drones. Like three drones. Yeah, three, four drones. It was a real shame from a 200 point tank commander. But then this guy, who I think I'm going to have to promote because he was really good, uh, just went nuts with the number of shots, got 10 that shots. That's that gives you room on yeah. the dice. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah. And he uh, got 10 shots off. And you've been getting like 10 every time because you always get. You basically get to, it basically yeah. gives you 10 shots every time. Exactly. And uh, he actually went nuts, got more hits than the tank commander, despite the fact that he was on fives. And. Um, just I just shit on my And then he got and loads of wounds. Got five wounds through, and I failed all of them. Yeah, five, yeah, exactly. So finally cleared those away. So that was good. That's a lot of firepower gone because what me and John were discussing was I can deal with fire warrior firepower. I get a four up save against that. I don't get much. I get six up against stealthy guys. So getting rid of them is top, top priority for my yeah. infantry. Uh, over here, it was a bit of a damp squib to be honest. We fired everything into from the infantry <laughs> into one to run and killed it. And then the armoured sentinels unleashed three crack missiles. I only got one hit. I did get the wound join, did fail the save, and I did get three wounds on it. So it is half dead, but I was really hoping to get a six and to take it out of the sky. Didn't uh, manage to do that, unfortunately. But we did get rid of Super Drone. The uh, uh, commander down here just popped off around and was able to get it. So that was really good. So we've actually now, I would say, cleared the majority of the tile drones. There's, I think, there's five left, one here. There's a few more. There's a few and then a few over around, there. Yeah. Five or six around. But that's most of the tile drones gone. <laughs> we've got rid of one of the stealth suits, which is one of the biggest threats to our infantry. And... Yeah, so it's not it's it's looking okay. The armor's there, but but the hammerheads are still here, and they're really going to punish me. And unfortunately, I don't have a huge amount I can do to stop them. So it's looking risky. I think my armor might go under this turn, but um, we'll see how my infantry fare at the end of this. So let's see how the guard are looking end of turn. Uh, two. Johnny did draw, he discarded one card last turn and redrew it. secure objective one and, and got drew. defend objective one. So this turn Johnny will still not be able Two turns have not been able to, to get one. any points. I don't like this new build your deck 18 cards. I don't really? Like it. No, I don't like it. Oh, fair it's, enough. Yeah, it's too, it's too I guess with other cards other cards you can cycle through yeah, ones you yeah, can't yeah. possibly score. Yeah. I'm loving it. There's too many. There's too, <laughs> no, I think, you're just, I think you'll hit a point where you run out of things to score. 
can't score anything. Yeah. Like, do you know what I mean? It's like half you. You are, you're gonna have like nine cards that are useful. Well, think if 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 half your cards are useful, you've got nine potential cards to score. Of my eighteen, I have I've only drew drew one secure and one defend. So I'm gonna start getting more and more defends, and that's gonna start. Making Man's it difficult for me to them, do. Do you know what I mean? Like they're just yeah. like clogging up my hands. Yeah, true. Stupid. It's always a, always a risky one with Maelstrom, but it's an interesting game. It's only turn two. Let's see mm. how the tower goes into their turn three. I think those tanks can punish you. So tower turn two was disappointing simply because Johnny couldn't score any points again. I don't know if I mentioned it before, but his redraw of his card uh, when he discarded one was uh, defend objective one, which is this one over here. So he, he just wasn't going to get it. So we had three defend cards in play. So we've thrown that one away at the end of his turn uh, in an attempt to try and draw something. So it's really unlucky for that. They had a really strong start. You know, big three on that area of denial. Could have been scoring so much. Yeah, I could have been scoring so much, but they've had two turns of no scoring. And they have had two, of, two turns of fantastic fighting. Uh, that was their turn three. Let, uh, in terms of killing, what did the tower actually do? Forward. Yeah. And they, uh, so this guy hopped forward to here, just covering the commander. He hopped forward from eight there to there. Uh, they were about 21 inches away, 20 inches for the piranha over 19, 21 yeah. for him. Uh, fusion through him. Uh, I actually failed with the piranha, but this guy did 11 wounds. Yeah, he got two uh, through and just got 11 wounds. Yeah. Absolutely fantastic. And Johnny's um, melter has been on point this game. Yeah, the 22 inches is just insane. Yeah. Like, if he had vectored rest retro thrusters, yeah. he's going to be broken. Like, yeah. 22, yeah, he's good. I mean, if you're like a cold person who uses a cold star, you're going to have like a 62 inch range on your fusions, essentially. 40 it's filthy. Move plus yeah. 22 inch range is so good. 22 inch range fusion. I haven't even been using the 11 inch <sighs> reroll, but that's going to be great when it comes in. Yeah. Uh, likewise, this guy over here uh, got that guy down to one wound. Uh, and the, then the long the ghost strike heel. finished him off. Long strike finished him off. Um, but my other rail had failed to actually finish him off. Uh, finish him off, sadly. Did I fire both rail heads? You did. I think this one contributed. I think this one contributed uh, over here because he, he had one wound left after him and him. Yeah. And then this one was the one that messed up. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Yeah, he finished him off after long strike. No, I'm sure long strike him. You anyway. definitely did, man. Like, trust me. You, you fired both of those. You fired him, which didn't kill him. Yeah. You fired him, which almost killed him. And you fired him, which finished him off. Yeah, yeah, that was it. it long strike left him on one wound. That was it. Yeah. It's because you'd healed him. Yeah, yeah. Um, Healing for the win. And then basically these guys just sprayed down, killed off like nine guardsmen over here, like eight were killed over here from like uh, Daka from the um, from the Piranha and splitting the, these guys can just reliably split their fire now. And still like if you've do got a lot of six damage. stealth suits, you can split them against two guard squads and if they're AP minus one anyway, 22 inch range and a, uh, which doesn't really matter, but yeah. uh, and uh, AP minus two because of ATS, four. And yeah. stealth suits went down in price as well. Yeah. So it's like the ATS is free now. It's basically yeah. they, they come with the free AP minus one. It's worth it. Um, and then I managed to totally, wi whiff. totally wipe out <laughs> oh, yeah. these guys here. I killed like 15. All this anti-infantry firepower and smart missiles killed the 10-man squad that was here and the 6-man squad that was here. But then my commander fired into the commissar. Four shots. I got two ones. Couldn't re-roll because I've been vector striking. Yeah. I didn't need to move for him. Oh, but that is because I shot him. You did, because you wanted to shoot him, uh, yeah. But I pranged it on him. So he just, that shot after shot, he got 11 wounds with the first shot at the turn. And then lived after and that. And then lived after that. Yeah. It's a bit frustrating when that happens. And the Lord Commissar had to make two invulnerable saves. And, and he got double play. six, baby. So, uh, so it's all right. But yeah, so my, these guys are danger close. They're, you know, the guard are thin on the ground. They've got one tank left, a couple of sentinels. But we have all our characters, We've and the characters... characters... And I just can't draw cards, like, yeah. it doesn't matter what I do in a Maelstrom game, the more tactically I play, the, the more the cards, cards I yeah. draw. Like, it's that's just... to balance it out, man, that's, that's yeah. the, you know, that's, it all balances out. <laughs> yeah. Dice, life, luck. Bit. So that's me 
Done, That's you done. Yeah. Draw your card at the beginning of your turn, and I'll see. Um, we'll see what no, the card gets. I've sacrificed a card, haven't I? Yeah, but you can draw your, your new one at the beginning no, of your I'll turn. Just, I'll draw it at the beginning of my next turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's what I meant. I've sacrificed one now. Sacrificed so, one again. Let's see if these guard characters can start laying down the smackdown on this Tau infantry. We have lost most of the good um, Morgan infantry. We're now no, sort of relying on the reserves. There's a, you know, a couple of orders left on some remnant squads over here. But um, yeah, unfortunately, um, Tau Fire Warriors, they're, 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 I win them on fours. So even these guys should hopefully be able to prank some shots onto them. Yeah, yeah. Last Let guns against Toughness 3. It's nice for you to be able to shoot me on Toughness mm. 3, isn't it? Let's see what the guard can do going into so their the turn tau, 3. The guard are breaking against the, the Tau Monkar slash Gaia, and I'm never, never sure which. Which one's which? Which one's which? Which one's For 20 I, years, I, not quite sure which one's which. I literally <laughs> bought my Tau army to Games Day 2001. It was my 13th birthday yeah. on that day, and I went to Games Day for my 13th birthday. So that tells you how old I am. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so the Tau have been using the same army. Don't know the difference between Kayan uh, and Monka. But uh, I'm certainly doing them. <laughs> Something's happening. You don't need to know the difference because you do both. Yeah, yeah. I know. It's, just, it's just thoughtless precision. I am. I am Monka. I am <laughs> Kayun. Anyway. Uh, let's see what the, uh, the guard can do in their turn three. So drawing the guard cards, let's see what we've got. Secure objective five. Oh yes. So no cool. prisoners. Kill something. Oh yes. I like literally how many things have I killed? How many cards Defend have I... objective four. Oh yeah! There we go, baby. Let's see. Anyone watching what we can do. At least no. <laughs> well, they'll all be like, oh, Muddy and Glow, you're so great. I am you're... great. It's my channel. Show. Sure. <laughs> right. I see. We'll see what happens <laughs> at the end of Guard Turn 4. I always. So it was a pretty good turn for the guard. We we'll keep on. We we'll keep on grinding. We've so, made it to the middle. Okay. We've made it to the middle. Turn three. <laughs> made it to the middle. So over here, we poured in Laz gunfire and um, lots of character fire, and we were able to kill a couple of guys from this squad, which reduced the for the greater good fire. And we also killed this squad down to one guy. I was initially like pouring loads of fire into the Listen back squad. Listen closely, children, as I once again tell you the story of guard characters winning games. <laughs> it's so annoying. Like, oh, you can't see me with your ghost kill because there's 28 millimeters tall, precisely. <laughs> I literally hate guards. <laughs> I love them. So, uh, so basically, I almost, I almost uh, messed up though because I kept pouring fire into these guys. Then I realised, hang on, there's an obsec unit here. I just need to make sure they go away. So I killed them down to one. Commissar executed him, got four hits, four wounds. What a ball! I totally sliced into pieces. And these two consolidated into here. They didn't, and I didn't foolishly didn't declare them the uh, target of a charge as well because if I had done they would have been able to pile in and and tear them to pieces but I didn't do it my own mistake there but we have tagged them so they're not shooting me this turn although this big fella he's gonna uh, we've got another wave of infantry coming up here supporting uh, and then over here we successfully took out the piranha with lots and lots of las guns and then all the specialties went into the iridium armor guy Plasma thick, gone down to one wound, and then we charged in and we bayoneted him to death. That blob of guardsmen there had 48 attacks. So there's 20 of them and two sergeants. With a priest. With a priest. Absolute madness. And the commissar has consolidated into that blob to stay safe. Um, this guy didn't really achieve very much. I think he killed a fire warrior. He healed a wound, didn't he? He did heal a wound. He did heal a wound, uh, which is good. Uh, I, just, I, was all, I was thinking of jury rigging him as well, but then I realised I would still be in my bottom bracket and there's three railguns on the board. <coughs> For the first time ever, I shot frag rockets at some fire warriors. Um, I kind killed of get... None. I killed none, but I didn't quite <laughs> like the idea. I got to re-roll some shots, which did boost me up a little yeah. bit, but um, it didn't pay off this time, but I can see how that would work in the future. And that is it. End of my turn. We have begun defending four. There's, not, there's an officer and some sentinels on it to try and uh, make sure that we keep it. So we should get that. I also got secure objective five. That was the one that my characters cleared off. And then uh, I got no prisoners. I did kill three units. I was like, yes, now is the time to jump into the lead. And I rolled a one. So I just sort of took a casual step forward into the lead. It does make sense though. My army is basically not allowed to advance thanks to my trait. So we just march forward slowly <laughs> into the lead. <laughs> Human wave tactics. No running, man. No running. No. <laughs> It's like World War One. Fixed bayonets. 
and walk slowly towards the enemy. There's no way they could have survived the bombardment. There's no need to run. Oh dear. <laughs> well, how many points are you on? Because I haven't been keeping track because I have not scored any points. For two I turns. am on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and first blood, nine. And if I'm, uh, I should get two more. Yeah, first strike, should get two more, so I should be on 11 points. Yeah, we've picked up quite a few whilst I've been stuck in a... Uh, Casual seven points <laughs> situation. But you did pick up, Johnny has... I picked up hold the line, which I'll get. So he's a free, so he should be on I'll eight at the end of this turn. Yeah, I'll go up to eight, yeah. Go to the eight of this turn. So uh, let's see how the tile can respond. We ha They've got the big guns left, and they always struggle. Some sub-munition rounds. Yeah, big guns left, and uh, but they have lost most of their... Fire Warriors, and they've only got one stealth team left, so let's yeah, see. Lost about, yeah, just over half on Fire Warriors. Yeah. Let's see if the guard can just keep on scoring dem points with those characters. So, not a bad towel turn. The highs and lows, the trials and tribulations. Uh, the salt is flowing, but for once, it's not from the guard's side. <laughs> Johnny's getting really angry with me. So, predictably, this guy uh, died. He only had two wounds left. Although if I had used jury rigging, he would have lived because Johnny only got two wounds with his fusion, but he did get it through. Fusion's been on point, did exactly what it needed to 22 do. Inch range, 22 inch range. 22 inch range. Can't say enough about it. Uh, so that tank did go, but then the priest just, um, like a boss, just absorbed all the ion raker shots into him. Absolute hero. Over here, sub munitions and um, st uh, smart missile systems shredded the infantry. This guy actually should have automatically fled, so he's gone. Um, and all that's left after morale is four infantry here. And the Tau have begun securing, object defending objective uh, five. So <laughs> it's taken them three turns, but it's looking like they might they might do it. Might, well, we'll defend it. We're we'll defending defend it. it. We're just, whether we score points for it or not, <laughs> we're going to defend the objective. Um, now, now, a rare and miraculous event has ooh. occurred. I drew a card I could actually score. Oh, yes, you, you drew. I got a hole, 1.4, nice. and it's quite true because I really have held the line. <laughs> Brilliant. So, because I have to say, this is the thing I don't like about the Maelstrom 18 card, is the fact that I am not playing to anything, if that makes sense. It takes the If you get a stuck actively. hand, yeah. You just, it's just like, well, I can shoot stuff, I can move around, I can be as tactical as I like. Uh, but but it's, it's, all for, it's, 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 it's all for nothing. It's for imagined, like, tactical benefit, if you know what I mean. Yeah, what's high command fight, sending know, down the line? It's, like, yeah. it's just, do you know what I mean? You, you, you're going through the motions, but there's not going to be any points at the end of it. And, like, obviously you can kill your way through stuff, and then by the time you start drawing those cards, everything's dead anyway. So, you know, it's nice to score a point. I'm on, what? Eight now. Eight, yeah. But it's taken me four turns to get there. Yeah. Um, I've also, just before we forget, got Defend Objective 4. So I think I'm on 11. We'll work it out in a moment. Um, this is the Guard Dead Pile, though. It's a lot. Don't include those Sentinels there still in. But even these guys, as usual, the Overflow Car Park for the Dead is here. And all the armour has now been destroyed. So we are down to the, as, as always, it comes down to the humble infantryman and his rifle and some sentinel We've rockets. Four guys and the officers from one. For one platoon, one flank. So um, over here, these guys, just before we forget, um, these guys got smart missile and burst cannon and the two man squad that was there died and five from this squad died. Not going to lie, Johnny's submunition was below pi. Had you the CP to get more than a two and you got a five on long strike, you then struggled to wound. Um, submunitions have always been shit. Submunitions like, has always yeah. been a bit swingy. Um, the rest of them were struggling, uh, even though, you know... Submunitions should just be a sick, heavy six. Or heavy no, three or something. Why, why bother heavy D6? Heavy three so, plus... Like, well, this is an argument I've made throughout using well, guard, which is, is heavy D6... is super magnetic. It should be a chain shot. Tower should just go back to old 16th cannon, century. Yeah. They should just stick a chain shot in the railgun and just magnetically launch it at like 3,000 meters per second. Bam! That's 10 men. Yeah. Oh, that'd be cool. Well, what I've always said, heavy D6 is too swingy. It should yeah. always be heavy 3 and plus D3. Because he's heavy D6. It's the one thing I don't like about Tau. Is or 2D3. There should be no such thing as 2D6. There should be no such thing as D6. It should always be 2D3. Because then the minimum you get is 2, which is alright. The average is 4. And, you know, which you're much more likely to get. And, um, you know, the max is still it six. It feels like heavy D6 is 
left over from when they decided to get rid of templates. And they're yeah. like, oh, sometimes your template only skims a guy, and sometimes then the rest of 8th edition has basically been turned into reliability, board, yeah. tabletop borderlands, and that everyone gets everything they want all the time. Which is fine because everyone gets everything they want all the time. But, but then, then when, when you don't, yeah, you update, it reminds you of like the beginning of eight. It's like a unit has six up, feel no pain. It's like five up, feel no pain. You so last year. Do you yeah, know what I mean? like it's just back in the day, feel no, pain, no one got a five up, feel no pain, but Death Guard, and now you get a five up, feel no pain, and you get a five up, yeah, feel yeah, no pain, and you get a five up, feel no pain. It feels outdated compared yeah. to the rest of eighth edition now. It needs change. And that's what GW have been doing with stratagems. They've not been fixing core rules. They've just been releasing more stratagems. So before we get to off, they could have done because the the bad then one of the new stratagems for the towers that battle suits can fire max. It's been really useful as you. You've got the stratagem where battle suits uh, where tanks can fire that max. Yeah. It'd be really nice because if I could just go, oh, I'll spend the command point and just sling six shots. Strength six subbies, six. yeah. yeah that, that is, str is strength six AP minus one. Two. AP minus... Two? It's gone up. Oh, well, it's well I haven't been taking a save for it, so I've been treating it yeah, as AP yeah. minus it's, two. It, it, <laughs> it's like, it's good when it actually get, generates the shots. Yeah. And I generated like four shots between three cannons, which was just unlucky. It wasn't great. Not ideal. <laughs> it wasn't ideal. <laughs> Plus, we're trying to get our catchphrase to be, it's not ideal. <laughs> No, it's not ideal. It's not ideal. So uh, over here, I charged. Um, oh yeah, Johnny got very upset about this. Well, the thing is, my missile commander has been pumping shots. He's fired two rounds of shots into these officers and did like three wounds out of. He's, he lot. hits on twos, real ones if he's stationary. He wounds on twos. He's D three damage. AP minus two, because he's got ATS and AP minus one on the missile and the the missile pods. So he should be able to kill officers officers when they're right in his face with no one blocking him. But he's done three wounds in two rounds of shooting. You, I yeah. charged with everything, did that wound with my fire blade, and Tim bloody... I yeah. CP'd it. <laughs> <laughs> so this one guy officer has literally pulled his chainsaw out, and he's just swinging it around. In his return hits... He's taken two bloody... Like, in, in his return hits, he got no hits. Literally, out of four attacks, five attacks hit on three. He's just but, parrying. He's yeah. just parrying, and he's just... He's somehow parrying missiles out of the sky. Well, the Emperor protects. <laughs> right. So Johnny has scored a point. Is there a card you'd like to discard to try uh, and clear your hand a bit more? Four, I think. I don't think I'll stop defend him. I've killed my officer and my piranha. It's unlikely, Four's yeah. Four's going. But you could get defend five. You started doing it. Right, so I could get defend five. So Drew cards at the beginning of your next turn, but you can do it now if no, you no, want. No, no, I'll do it at the beginning of my next turn. All right. So we'll be back... At the beginning of guard turn four. Mm. So guard turn four cards. What can we get? Secure objective two. I think that might actually be one on your side. It is! Where is it? It's... Yay! <laughs> hey! You can actually run for that. I may run for it. Secure objective four. Yay! <laughs> Have you taken more than that? Than the allowed amount I don't think deck? so. I better check. And... Defend objective five! Oh, it's on like it's King Kong! Who can defend? I've only had Neither one. Of us. No of one us is getting it. that card. I guarantee it. If anyone is, Johnny deserves it, but no one's getting it. Let's see what the guard could do. We've got, definitely got one point. We might get two. That one's very, very iffy. Let's see what the guard can do going into their turn four. So, pretty good turn for the guard. We got secure four, no problems. Over here, we moved in advance with the 10 man squad, then moved, moved, moved with it, and got plenty. It was like got 11 on the move, 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 secured that objective, so we have secure two. There we go. That's how you secure an objective, Johnny. That's how you do it. You guys. By drawing the cards. You, by drawing the cards, that's and how you do it. It's able to get there. <laughs> um, now, this guy, was, it, to be honest, it was a turn of heroes. This absolute lad. It moved and advanced as a, as a reserve move, move, move guy, but didn't need to. So then I uh, just used fours for the Emperor on him. And he got a five to hit, and then he got a five to wound. Went straight through. 2d6 on the damage. Got a six. Nice. Unfortunately, these last gun guys couldn't plink off a wound. And then I did fire three crack rockets at him. Got one through, but Johnny used a CP to save it. So I guess we can both use CP to save things and make yeah. everyone cry. It I did for me for once. Just remember, I forgot to see if this uh, sentinel healed a wound at the beginning of the turn. I'm oh, sorry. Uh, he does heal a wound, so he's take, he's just got one back. Forgot to do that at the beginning of the turn. There we go. But so that was one hero, hero number one over here, absolute lad. 
Those guys charge heroically onto an objective. Powerful, bro. But now the hero. Now this this officer, and I don't want to go on about it too much, but I always in six and seven edition never ran him because it was twenty five points for power fist, excessive to say the least. It's good when ever he's on the. But table. ever he's on the table, he's an absolute hero. You just want one little power fist, bro. You just power fist. Want, I'm not saying take every officer with a power fist, but you want a power fist, bro. He is he is a hero. What he? Because last time I used him, I think. A, Properly, was he in really seventh edition. Himself as well, he always orders himself to. <laughs> in seventh edition, this guy charged down Johnny's Riptide and killed him with that power fist. Totally shouldn't have done, but did. In one turn of combat, no, that's true. It was he finished. <laughs> he finished something off, to be honest. But this turn, absolute hero. So I told him to fix bayonets, and he killed f four guys from this squad here, or maybe three guys, just one left. And that actually meant he killed himself out of combat. So it was like, right then, where's that bloody super crew? I want to have a piece of him. Charged in against Super Crew, two hits, no sorry, three hits, two wounds, and then just bloody got double six on the wounds and just took him out because even Five Blades got five wounds, so he needed a bit of luck to do it. Absolute hero. And then he just carried on into that squad. Now, unfortunately, the Super... Meanwhile. Meanwhile, <laughs> the Super Parry guy decided to go on the offensive and he did uh, get loads of hits. He also told himself to fix bayonets, but Johnny made two saves. And then he did it, he combat it again, but Johnny made another save. So unfortunately, he didn't do anything. And then they got their little plastic toy guns and just beat the crap out of him. They got a taste for blood. They, they got a taste it. for blood, they yeah. It. They like watching that skull come apart. <laughs> eat that, Gravessa. Eat it. Eat it. So. Eat my uh, plastic butt. Eat my plastic. Eat my plastic. <laughs> so. <laughs> they don't sound like that. <laughs> Imagine they actually sound like stormtroopers. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah, like, you know, the so Move along. Yeah, move along like, <laughs> eat my plastic. Eat my plastic. <laughs> so, do you see that? <laughs> over here, just remember, this guy actually does have to take a leadership check. Um, so, do you want to just roll that, Johnny? Because he's leadership seven, he lost four. So, on a five, four, I five. Want a six. You I want, want a six. To, I want, you want to a take six. him to the knife. You want to take him to the end. No. Four, so four plus three is seven. So, he's alive. He yeah. just needs to get a five. Yeah, just, just need to get a five. So, he's fine. Uh, so the priest, unfortunately, didn't have any rerolls this time, and you feel it when you're hitting on fours without rerolls because he just only got one hit, one wound, and then Johnny back. saved it. And then the guy hit back and also Stabbing. made him eat plastic. Yeah. I think it, was, it might have just stabbed him in the eye with the prongs and that weird all specsy thing. Wait, so. he's, got, he's got his bonding knife. Oh, yeah, bondage knife. <laughs> bondage knives. Uh, and these guys uh, killed a drone, just to end on a small note. Killed one of them stealth drones. So we have begun. We will defend Objective 5, sir. We will do it. You will not. So we've begun defending objective five. <laughs> and uh, we've secured those two. I'm actually tempted to throw it away because I don't think I'm going to get it. And yeah, I mean, I'd, you'd have the, you'd have to just not kill four dudes. I think I could feasibly defend objective five at this point. I think I could actually... I'd be pretty bummed if I didn't get a bite of the Milky Way. So <laughs> the way you <laughs> said that... <laughs> so, I don't get a bite of that Milky Way. We've got to get a bite of that Milky Way. <laughs> So, if you get that reference, put it down in the comments. Every, uh, what, I, what I have to say, it's been really cool, like, literally, it's ten and a half inches between this wall and this wall here, and, like, 80 guards have set <laughs> up on that trip, and four remain. And we made four made it over the wall. Four have made it over the wall. It's like, literally, that's just what happens. piled up. Just bodies everywhere. Actually, that's why I've been getting a cover save. I've just been using the bodies of my yeah, own dudes. Yeah. And these guys are still here on six wounds. Yeah, <laughs> I've just guys, I've, I've just haven't killed the stuff that's really hurting me. <laughs> the second you killed those stealth suits over there with that plasma tank, that's what cracked open that, that defensive position. Otherwise, you'd still be. If only I remembered off. the lesson to bring Astra past, but I just some some weird reason refused to do it. Anyway, so I'm gonna make a controversial decision, guys. I'm gonna bin it. I don't think I'm gonna secure it. And I'd want to get See, a good I last turn. Because it doesn't even mean anything to you. Just throwing <laughs> that card away. <laughs> I, I oh, Johnny, I don't really... Sorry, Johnny, I don't really want... I'm <laughs> invested in defending Objective 5. I'm going to see Johnny is literally fuming. The fact that I am just like, oh, I'll throw away Defend Objective 5. I don't really need it. It's the one objective <laughs> that I've been allowed to put from the first turn has actually appeared, and not even in my side, but in my half of the board. <laughs> Everything else I've drawn has been your side, so... I did do you one last thing. Be a lost thing the CP. Jeremy. Chance to be a fine thing. Yeah, chance to be a fine thing, Jeremy. Uh, <laughs> So I have used my last CP. Let's crack on. Time, turn five, potentially last turn of the game. Need most CP, I've two. Well then, I I can see. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Can Fisty Mutt Hero Face carry on? Oh. Keep that camera rolling. Oh, you want to keep the camera rolling? Gonna keep the camera rolling. Secure objective five. So if I can secure. So if you can secure it, it's three points. If I can clear that flank. Yeah. 
Defend objective three. Oh, 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 hey, oh, hey, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. So Johnny should realistically get one point <laughs> here and two points here. I doubt I can stop him. So that would put him on three. Defend that. If I can kill these guys off from running over there. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. So let's see uh, what we can do. Uh, some munition shells. I think the tower are not as far behind as they think they are, but this no, could be potentially be the last the turn of the game. It's been very interesting. This could be the last turn of the game. Let's see what happens. So, end of tower turn five, and it's exciting, guys! It's exciting! Uh, if I could just, and this is very embarrassing, but if I could just ask that salt that I gave you earlier, if I, if I could just have it back. I know well, it's maybe. Bad. Let's see what happens. A gift, a gift given should never be returned. <laughs> but... <laughs> But, uh, they look a salt horse in the mouth. Swing, five point yeah, yeah. So, five point swing. So the tower have managed to achieve a five point swing. So let's go through how they've managed to do that. So over here, predictably, the guardsmen were slaughtered. Um, they had to be killed no, by it's, smart it's, missiles. Longstrike did it. Longstrike did Longstrike's it. Longstrike's a boss when he's not in leading tower hammerheads. If he's leading tower hammerheads, he's got to go. Yeah. If he's not leading tower hammerheads, there's so, loads of other stuff to shoot at. Yeah. And then he keeps just... Clicking doing, away. Doing that work, doing that work. So, so, so long strike managed to do that. Um, and then the priest that was here was also, uh, the towel fell back around him and then he was brought down. He brought, was brought down with my ga my uh, character, my warlord. Oh, yeah, warlord. Um, he, the warlord also fired two, uh, quite a bit, went into uh, Fisty Bro over here, but he just tanked it. He, just tanked he took it. one wound. Took one whole wound. And then the ghost kill charged in over here. I think long strike, did nothing. long strike shot is cannon. Into Fist Bro's chest and failed to do anything. With fact field, baby. <laughs> and then he, yeah, and then he got shot with a set of missiles from here. Some went into the priest, but he survived that too. So then I charged him because I just the reason why I've charged got three sixes on his saves. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the reason why I've charged him is because he can order himself to fight in the shooting phase. Yeah. So I was worried about him getting these guys and then striking them again. So what mm. I thought was I'll clog him up with. Because then there's no way he can kill enough fire warriors to ever take that objective off yeah, me. Yeah, true. You can't order... This is a priest over here. Yeah, can't and be ordered. this is a You ordered. need to know your enemy's army. This is a priest, this is a commissar. They can't order them. They're a different regiment anyway, so they can't be ordered. There was a squad here and the melter guy here. These guys and the tanks make them mm. dead. So he can't stop me defending that. He can't get close enough. So yeah, Johnny's got defend objective that. I can't stop the him. That he does have because they're the wrong regiment. Finally, the orders <laughs> are dealt with. So I, so Johnny, so just yeah, all these guys over here, the ten and the melter guy, they were just killed. Oh. So so because Johnny knew that I couldn't stop him getting that. So Johnny has defend objective three. I can't stop him getting that. So that's two points. He's finally going to defend and secure objective five. So that's another three points for a total of five points. Which puts him on 13 points in total. Yes, because I had right. six of the, I had seven in my first turn. Then one. Then one. Four and two. Then nothing for turn two, nothing for turn, turn three, three, one, one for turn, turn four, four, and, and now, five. Oh, carry on. Now, the guard, just to know, so you guys know how close it is, the guard got a defend objective one, defend objective four, so that's four points, five points, six points, seven points, eight points, nine points, ten points. One minute, I'm adding this up, sorry. One, two, three, four. You've got 11. Five, you? six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I've okay. got twelve points. So I'm one behind. Okay. I'm one behind. I need your cards. to get a card. So we're going to do this live on camera. We're going to do live on camera. Can you catch up, turn five? Supremacy. Hold three objectives. That should be achievable. Potentially. Potentially? Potentially. Secure objective six. That's doable, very mm -hmm. doable. Defend objective six, which I can't, I don't think I can score it, pretend, unless it goes on to turn six. You can, yeah, you could totally do it, because it only rolls on a one or a two tip for the game to end, but it's just these stealth they've been there all game, they've killed like 80 guards. Again, yeah. So they'll be able to kill five more. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. so that's very interesting. So at the very least, I should be able to get a draw. Can I get anything else and see if it ends? Can we go for a, a clutch? Turn five ending. Let's see what happens. I finally going... started pulling cards that um, you can do. That, that I can do. So I've burnt through all the cards I can't do. So well, not all, but some of. So 
I don't want the game to end, but you do because you could yeah. grab it now and then the game and could then, be a, could be a last minute end. grab. Yeah, yeah. yeah, could be a last. To be fair, the grab. guard have been very. Well, it would be a last minute grab from me if I won it because no. I've been. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Game. It would have been potentially a last minute grab from the Tau. But look but at it, the Tau lines compared to the guard lines. I mean, the Tau have clearly won this engagement. Like they've won it. If it goes on from the no, table, no, no, it could be table. I would like to point out that from a Tau perspective, you've won it because you still have things left over. I don't care how many men die. If I send 10,000 men... From a guard perspective, you lost it because you lost one of your officers. Ah, they're not that important. They're not that important, man. Oh, officers aren't important. The point is that it's it's a classic... This could potentially be a classic Tau guard game where the Tau have the assets left, but the guard have just just caused them to go through so much ammo that they may have to retreat. So let's see. We don't know yet. Let's see what happens going in to turn... Five for the Imperial Guard. So Tal turn, uh, Tal turn. Guard turn was very, very quick. It was Tal turn. It was shit for me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tal t- guard turn was very quick. This guy was able to do another three wounds uh, to the Ghost Kill in the shooting phase of fixed bayonets, and then unfortunately he finally got a bit tired, and in the fight phase he got a hit, but failed to wound, and I was out of CP to try. So he, he alone has done what almost like ten wounds, almost nine. He's done six wounds to this thing alone, yeah, which is pretty wounds. good. Crack missiles. Crack missiles over there. Managed to do uh, five runes to this hammerhead, so it's really, really degraded. And I should say, they will get a chance to heal themselves. Oh, yeah, the big D3. So what do they get? Just one. So they, they've they almost healed themselves back. I'd just like to try and remember to do it, because obviously move, it's... Move, moved onto this. Yeah. And then move, move, moved with my officer cheeky. onto this. I categorically asked were there any more orders <laughs> on the field, and he said no, but... I thought he meant for my, uh, my infantry regarding, uh, you know, trying to take this off him. So I did get secure six, which is one point. I did get supremacy. Unfortunately, I rolled a one for it. I've got a bit unlucky with my two my two D threes. I've got two, a one yeah, for you're both. Multi wound. You've not got any, and I've mm. only had one chance, and I got three on it. Yeah. For defense six, I um, I threw that away because I don't think I was going to get it. So there you go. So there you go, guys. Um, that is the end of uh, guard turn really five. Let's go on. So let's see. What happens? Will the guard take victory this day? It's a real close one. Whoa. It does continue, I think. So, because it's, uh, yeah, it's turn one five. Or two. One or two would have ended case. it. Yeah, yeah that's would have ended it. So we do go on. Will the town manage to snatch victory? Let's see what cards they get. You want to draw them live? Live yeah, on camera. All right, so we'll see what we get. No prisoners. Kill a unit. Should be achievable. Secure get to three. I think that's the one in. Oh, that's oh you've that got one. that one, so he's definitely got that one. And secure objective four. Which is the one that's all the way over there, mm. so I don't Which think I'm you're gonna going get to that get that one. So, so he's got a chance to get two points. Currently, the guard have a two point lead, but if I can kill three units, we can get D3. Yeah, very, yeah, very doable. Yeah, very doable. missiles either. So let's see how the um, Tau do in their turn. Yeah. So the Tau had a pretty good turn. They've done what they needed to do. Long story short, long strike story short. Fist bro finally went down. The officer over here died. And the five guardsmen died, which gave Johnny the D3 he needed for no prisoners. And he's got secure objective three. Now we've counted up and I'm on 15 points. pushed over the fist bro dying. Fist bro finally died. That's the kind of... <laughs> Undertone needed for that set. We're just, you know, we're playing it down, but we're, we are, we are quite heartbroken. Um, so the end score right now is fifteen to the guard. We've got fifteen. We've got fifteen. We'll double check, but we're pretty sure we've got fifteen. Yeah, you would have been sixteen, but you lost. The towel. You, you're not going to be on line breaker anymore. So no, have gone down. The towel. We're on thirty. Now they've definitely got secure three plus one fourteen. That's they've very got good a D three for no prison. Now I've got shite on my two D threes. Yeah, because I killed. But let's see, officer, so they bro. need to, if they get a one, it could, it's, a it's a, potentially a draw. You could easily overtake me. Again. Maybe. Oh, you know I've got, got four, four cards, cards left, left, so we so don't that's know. That's the thing, was I've got more cards so if left, gets a I've one, stuck trying to throw yeah. one away a turn. If he gets a one, it could, be a, it could be a draw. If he gets anything more, this game is interesting. You know, I've always said it, but I just love Maelstrom games. <laughs> <laughs> don't put up the Maelstrom cards now. Roll that dice. Oh, God, Maelstrom. I have, oh, can I use a command point on this? No. <laughs> Unless you want to roll it lower. Yeah. Two. two. It's a two. So that puts him on 16 points. So I am 
currently uh, winning by one point. <sighs> Great good. So winning by one point, guys. So one the point. On a four up now. Is send up a three up? Is it? I would like my turn. Oh. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so used to losing, and I'm so used to go. Not well, you know. I'm so used to losing first turn, mm. and now now that I'm going first, I'm having a run of going first, and it's weird. It throws me off. Yeah. Like, I had a run of going second. I've got the I've got the camera ready. Okay, let's see what you've got. Overwhelming firepower. Still got them sentinels. Fuck it up. Secure objective three. That's not going to happen. Defend objective three, right? There, in the bin. Can I shoot something? As a guard player, can I kill something in my turn? This command point will be used as a save, play as intended. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what the guard can do. So the game has ended. You may be able to hear Johnny doing some victory Tai Chi in the background. Yes, spoiler alert. Johnny was saved by bullshit luck again. Yes, salty. I have trained I am not... for many years on three up saves. Never make Jonathan roll a three up save or a five up save. I can't pass anything ones, else. Twos, fives five. or sixes. No, no, fours or sixes. Fours or sixes. I can't roll one, two, four, six, and dice. I can roll three. If it's power and armor really or feel no pain equivalent, good. it's good. So what's happened? What's happened, guys? <laughs> is I got over with firepower. And I launched a proper good volley of rockets at Johnny and made him take six wounds, right? Those six wounds. And he only failed one, and then he used his last CP. Which fair you enough. will remember, I yeah. declared on camera before the game, the turn began. And then he made it. And it's like, so he made it. It's like, you know what, that's, that is, that's not great, but it's not some, ideal. I did not some ideal. karate, victory craft, but it was too soon. It was too soon. The priest got a shot, got a hit, and put a wound on him. Johnny rolled the dice, three up save, got another five. Now the Commissar, he hits on twos, Timothy. He, uh, the Commissar does hit on twos, but for three turns in a row, he rolled a <laughs> one. What Patrick a balance. So there we go, guys. So I can't go over with firepower. Um, even two points here, Johnny will very likely get my Warlord over there. So he will get an extra point then. And let's just see... What he was going to get Can going this forward. game go on for seven turns if we only got enough cards for six? I think so. Seven. So he's good, definitely going to get over with firepower. You won't get... You'll start defending six, but you can't get it at the end of your turn. And secure just six. One, yeah. So you're definitely going to get six. Definitely going to get over firepower. I can't oh, stop yes. him. Six, yeah, definitely good. can't stop him. So he's done it. He's Great to go. Can I just... Uh, would the game have gone on? Would the game have gone on? Yes, it yes. would have done. So it was inevitable. The Tau... The Tower have learned. What this is, Jay, the, the Tower have learned a lot. Let, no, no, let's just, Maelstrom. let's just say one thing, right? The Tower have been facing off against the Guard for years now. Years. And they always... Decade, all, over a decade. And it always seems to end on a turn five for them. Because what and me and Johnny always like to say, they run out of ammo and are like, we've got to get out of here. Yeah, yeah, and for once, they were like, bring let's, more ammo. Let's play, <laughs> to, to, let's play through. So, let's carry on playing. Let's not run away. They yeah. got that taste for blood. Yeah. They got that taste for blood from the officer in combat. It's a really like, we like it. Yeah. So it's a really good game. So I'll I mean I'll concede on my uh, on the end of my turn six. I didn't get it. so Johnny's gonna win by one point. You know point later. You know point. So he won on sixteen points. Absolutely that, and that just goes to show, guys. I actually don't mind because it was oh shake your left hand. Are we going which way? Upside down. There we go, there Upside we go. Down. Good game. Good game. We'll have a quick wrap up. Uh, we'll just tidy the tape up a little bit, we'll have, you know, do some cards I'll and then double check the scores to make sure we haven't got it wrong and then we'll have a quick post-game analysis. So we're going to do end of game after action report now. We've got the tripod back out for that sweet, sweet pan and zoom. <laughs> mm, <laughs> mm, this is where your Patreon money's going, folks. <laughs> Enjoy the path. Enjoy. And enjoy the zoo. Look at the smoothness. There's not a single bit of camera shake there. Let's just do. Can we do? Can we do two at the same I time? I sense people are going to be disappointed because no one, no one will be able to leave comments below saying, "Oh, please stop shaky. being so shaky with your cam." 
No, yeah. what are you going to type? What are you going to type now? Oh, look, Morning Glory video. Better just open up that notepad document and copy. Oh, please. wait. Oh, <laughs> my God. Use your sentence to put into that comment. Yeah, exactly. Well, it's over now. Shaky Cam is dead. Well, you know if what? You, you are a fan of Shaky Cam, you can still experience... It, 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 in the, in the middle part of the battle report. Well, I was going to say, it's Scarlet Progenium, my channel. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> shameless plug. Um, <laughs> or shameful plug. Shameful plug. Shaky Cam. That's true. Um... You guys made me feel very upset about the crappy quality of my paint job, so now I've repainted my army. And you made me very upset with my shaky cam ability. So now he's got a tri yeah. tripod. So now I've got a tripod. You know, please find other things to complain about and make me complain feel self-conscious. the fact the lack of Grey Knights on the field, please, everybody. That would be great if you could complain about What, you think Grey, Grey Knights are great now, dude? I think they're still kind of mediocre. They can do four damage at smite. They're kind of mediocre. Okay. We'll have to agree to disagree. <laughs> you, you think that because you yeah, don't understand the warp. You have Tau. <laughs> I know what the warp is. What are these great? Yeah, these grenades. What do they do? What are you spending all those points for? What is? Yeah, like, exactly. Literally. Occasionally, some of my fire warriors pop. Don't really get why. Don't really get why. <laughs> Look at that zoom. Oh man. So much zoom. Right. Let's zoom. More talking. Priest is priest is going to be the focus of the uh, of the vid of the uh, after action. So. End of the game, me and Johnny had a little, just a little chat whilst we were clearing some bits on the table, and we just said, you know, that is that was such a good game. And neither of us really optimised our lists around the new traits. I mean, I'd happily run this at a local tournament yeah. and win plenty of games with it. Like, I'm not saying, I just wouldn't take it to, yeah. like, Cali. Yeah, that's true, yeah. I would say, I would, do you know what? I think your what list... I'm comfortable with. I think inherently your list was slightly more optimised. And the reason I say that is not well, because I mean, of anything you yeah, did. I've got every, this list you is haven't the exact same thing. list, model per model. Yeah. Than the, the reason yeah. why I think yours is more optimised is because your units don't take special weapons, whereas mine do. So mm. when you when you take a trait, it just affects all the burst cannons. Oh, great, that's fine. No, to be fair, the whereas trait when I, only affects burst cannons. That, exactly. Mm. But my traits are a bit more like, oh, it affects your rapid fire weapons. Okay, my flamers aren't as good suddenly. My melter guns aren't as good suddenly. So we've taken two armies. Johnny's army doesn't need tweaking at all and has, and has received a good power boost. And the guard army could do with a slight tweaking. But even then, these two armies were perfectly matched against each other. It came down to a few lucky dice rolls. Really, I think it's a really good set of rules. It yeah. felt, have, so just to look at the tanks, yeah, let, I'll let you speak for a little I feel bit. like hammerheads are back and railgun hammerheads are very usable. Having that reroll one to... Uh, to wound, I think it's if you don't move or something. If you move less than half, mm. I think that was it. If you move less than half, you get reroll ones to wound. This is a bit of a joke with me and Johnny because the first four turns of the game, he was convinced it was plus one to wound. I'm just a blood angel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you, if I, if I, if I'm rolling to wound, I add plus I, one. I'm I'm one. Plus I want plus one. Whether I'm meant to or not, I'm adding it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you have to tell me not to. <laughs> you have but to catch I... me out. Yeah, exactly. Classic tournament play. No, I'm a blood angel. Right? Classic tournament play. But uh, but yeah, so it, the the real one to wound just makes those rail games. Like I rolled a couple of ones to wound over the course of the game, and that would have been a couple of times where I did like, you know, it would have been seven, eight less wounds on Tim's tanks over the course of a couple of turns. Mm. You know two D6s, so to speak. I didn't even see it that useful against my tanks. It was like the occasional time. I think you must have re-rolled maybe out of all those shots, one, two, I maybe think we three. Two railgun shots to wound, but I don't but it was know, on the it was on firing three a turn, so it's you know it was about it was all about the infantry. Oh, the smart, smart missile, missile systems with AP minus one. Yeah, and reroll ones to wound. That, yeah, it's good. It's yeah. really nice. Now you start applying that. Now it sounds weird. It's like having triple heavy bolter. Yeah. Well, you, but you ignore cover. Think about this. And you ignore line of sight, and you th you're only 13 inch range, but you can't escape. Think about this crazy combo for a second, right? What if you were to go and spam devil fish, devil fish eyes, yeah. devil fire, yeah, no, yeah, devil fishes? Because you could get, you're getting your burst. You could take, you could take your burst cannon trait. And your smart missile oh, tray, and then disgusting. just and then just spam, disgust, filthy, <laughs> filthy, <laughs> totally filthy. And then what you then you start smashing out, <laughs> then you start putting infantry in those um, things. You could you know you, you just it's gonna start getting it's gonna oh, start getting yeah. mad quickly. Mech tower ready to tau are ready to mech up. I mean, I'm Most, not, I don't think any of those traits really benefited. 
We've only had a quick look. There's loads of stuff Thousands. about bennesses. I mean, riptides. Riptides. Yeah, yeah, riptides. Riptides are now, they've not had any boost. Riptides are still exactly the same as they are, as far as I'm aware. After, after the quick rules. glance, yeah. We had a decent, you know, look just to check. We had a five minute look to see what would be most optimal with the tower list that I already had, and then just pick the rules that would fit the tower had. And they fitted perfectly. Yeah. But you know, my preference for Tau stealth suits. I mean, it's just noticeable. The Tau stealth suits disappeared on the Imperial Guard's right flank. Yeah. And they managed to push up because they got rid of the stealth suits. On the other flank. On the other flank, they just kept getting murdered. They could push forward as well. I mean, they made it, but then they get cleaned up. Stealth yeah. suits for days. As as we as typically happens in our games. If you've got armor left. Yeah, the guard tend to win the infantry duel. They, you know, we cleared out all the nearly we cleared out nearly every single drone, nearly every single fire warrior. We got we even got started getting into characters. We pretty much got that we got that ghost kill down at the end, pretty much. Uh, but we didn't even touch three hammerheads. Oh well, no, one of the hammerheads was also kind of badly wounded. Yeah, yeah, he had he did he had only man he did manage to do it when you had your officer behind the lines. Yeah. Um and you were hoping to get an extra point, which would have meant it was a draw, because he'd taken six wounds from a melter and five wounds from a crap missile, I didn't actually manage to wound you, and I had to do it mm. with... Now, interestingly, bolt. maybe I should have fired through crap missiles with that guy. I said you should take, have ma Make you take four up saves, because you can't save them. No. I couldn't well, save them, but instead... Statistically, I had, the right I thing to do. I had a shield drone, so... I no, I meant... I meant oh, that yeah, guy, yeah, that guy, yeah. So, statistically, I the right thing to do to was the right missiles, but knowing you... Rule of yeah. thumb, as a guard player, is... As soon as you're facing armour and you haven't got any armour support Win the left armor over... You're going to get chewed through. Now, yeah. Tim does run pure infantry, and it is almost impossible to beat, because it is pure infantry. Mm. But if you're going to take some armour... You've got to win that armour duel because the points that you've spent on that armour mean you're not going to have enough infantry yeah. to live through if the game goes to turn six yeah. and beyond. It, it, it's just something we see game after game. If I beat you, it's because my tanks... Because your heavy forward. hitters are still left. Yeah, but I just couldn't reach out and touch them. And yeah. that, as I would say, weirdly... I think I mean, Johnny would discuss... Yeah. This is the lesson learned, which was I've been trying loads of different things. I've been trying Punisher cannons, Demolisher cannons, Plasma cannons. Actually, if I'm going to be honest, there's a reason why the Battle Cannon is the second most expensive choice. It's because it's so good. And I really should, if in that game, if I'd not messed about, if I'd not mucked about, and I'd just taken five Battle Cannons, that would have been a different, different game. game. Totally Absolutely different, game. different game. So if I was to because tweak... what happened was I took on your anti-armour, mm. or any anti anything that was too close. And then I'd try and melt a gun you in yeah, bloody yeah, lengthways. Exactly. It's never going to happen. Yeah, and, yeah, and uh, your DACA stuff... I could, you know, it's just, it's because it's phases, there's phases of a game. So as your infantry are moving up, my 30 inch smart missile systems are cutting into them, my railguns are shooting over the top. Yeah. You're still trying to get your demolished cannons up the field, I kill off, the, the, kill them when they get into danger range, yeah. and I ignore them until they get to that point. Yeah. It's just, it's that common, mis not mistake, it's that common thing you've always got to be aware of is the balance between. Waves of attack, which is really good, continuous, relentless waves of attack, but not feeding your army in bite sized chunks. Mm. If you feed your army in bite sized chunks instead of powerful it waves. Wasn't too, it wasn't too bad. No, it's just, you know. It, uh, the only thing I would say is if I was to optimize this army, the, I'd make two. If you, if you were thinking of running a very similar hybrid force, this was a, this was a, this was a quintessential guard force that I ran. I had five bits of armor. Bit of recon, loads of characters, and 150 infantry. If you yeah. were to optimize this list and you want to run this list now, oh, I I tell you how I tell you what I'd recommend. That's my cat in the cat there. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what I'd recommend, which is swap all those cannons uh, out on the tanks for the battle cannon. Stick everything on the battle cannon and save the point. And how you afford those points? Permanently, but if you're trying to work out what's good after a big a rules change. Start with your baseline, and then say, right, okay, I don't need five battle cannons, I can do with three and a Punisher. Maybe, but I, I, honestly, I honestly would just say, five battle, if I was to optimise this list, yeah. I would take five battle cannons, and the way I would afford those battle cannons is by swapping out every melter, every flame, everything, like to, plasma to, guns, yeah. to plasma guns. Or just you've got rapid fire, which I'm, is 18 inches. Exactly. The fact that you have rapid fire 18 inches and you didn't have every plasma model in your collection in mm. the army. But I just ran the, yeah, yeah, I well, ran the we list. Agreed, that, yeah. We agreed to run two standard lists mm. with updates to see how the updates, because we didn't want to run 
a new list and updates because it'd be hard to see where the changes well, we were. Made, we probably made I plenty of mistakes, but we've, yeah. we would have made even more. I think more. we were really careful. We were really, really careful, but yeah. it's easy, you know, I'm sure you guys, please do point out any yeah. issues. And please do you type tower players out there, you know, anyone who follows my channel or anyone who follows Tim's channel, you know, knows I don't use my tower very often. I crack them out every few months. Um, so, you know, any tips and tricks, yeah. please do mention in the comments because I always get better when you guys comment like, yeah. with my towel. I would just say, just to focus, just for a Don't moment. Don't drop the stealth suits because I ain't yeah. dropping them. Stealth suits are so good. <laughs> just, just to focus on the actual battle for a second rather than just how we felt about traits and stuff. The tactics used. If you actually look back over the battle, the town never got past halfway. And that is actually unusual. If, if you were especially to, for my town. Especially for Johnny's town and for Guard vs. Town in general, what tends to happen with Guard vs. Tau is both armies sort of jewel in the middle. Jewel in forth, the middle like yeah. Poking, it's like fencing. Yeah, both armies but what happened is the guard and the reason why the guard got such a commanding lead at the beginning, and the reason why Johnny was getting so frustrated and we could have won it by turn five, is because the guard had the momentum. Basically, for the majority of that game, until turn six when it all fell apart and we ran out of infantry. The guard held four out of six objectives. Just, just, we held four out of six objectives. Yeah, and I was wandering around shooting stuff, but with no real aim. I was aimlessly fighting yeah. because I didn't have any objectives. Imagine, Imagine if you'd got no prisons at the beginning. You could have easily maybe got the three plus D3 and sniped out six units, potentially. And yeah. when you full firepowers. I'm not sure. I'm still unconvinced on this version of Maelstrom because I really think I've only been able to get rid of one and there have been 18 cards in your deck. I'm just not convinced. You know, say what you will. It's a matter of opinion in regards to what I enjoy playing. Mm. And I'm just not convinced yet that I enjoy playing Maelstrom with only 18 cards. Yeah. And like, Fair Tactical enough. Gambit is like one of my favourite missions to play, and that's Maelstrom. Yeah. But I don't like Maelstrom game. I think there's. It's hard to say, but basically there's two types of Maelstrom game. There's one where you end up in a dead end, and you sort of. It slows you down. And you don't want that because Mel's yes. supposed to be all over the place. You're supposed to be like. I only think the reason you, the only reason you were in that situation was because I was just I, I was putting the pressure on you constantly. Yeah, but I wasn't if you, gonna... how many times did defend object? You know, you had defend object I five for three six. turns. I didn't draw six. I drew two once. I drew three twice. I think that was it. I you got six at I, the end. I don't think I even I drew defend to any point. The only thing I would back, say, I just going to use this sweet tripod to uh, make my point, but the only thing I would say is the reason why you were stuck for so long is because you had like objective five, secure objective five, defend objective five, and you just couldn't clear those cards. If, if I hadn't been pressuring you so much, you would have cleared those two cards quickly, you would have started, you would have started drawing uh, your, your other cards, you secure sixes, your other firepower cards that you got at the end, and you would have smashed me on points. I just think the mission, like, you know, half of armies out there aren't going to be able to just dive in and control areas. You know, I run Dark Elder and Blood Angel, so this is not something that massively bothers me because I can be where I want, when I want, if I'm playing right. But a lot of armies out there... You know, they're slinging shots, they've got their deployment zone. You can't just be in the deployment zone when you want and secure objectives when you want. That means if you've only got 18 cards on the field mm -hmm. in your hand and, you know, 12 of them are potentially objective ones. You don't have to build no, all you 12. don't have to, but then, you know, oh, I'm not fighting against someone with flyers, or I'm not fighting... Do you know what I mean? If I was with only 18 yeah. cards, I just feel there's not enough options well, I you got, can end up yeah. stuck in a dead end. The, what, the thing I, need more than three in your hand. I think two things to say, this would be... The last thing I sort of wrap up at analysing this mission, there's a couple of other bits, maybe, army-wise, but we'll probably leave them for now. A couple of things I would say is, your army struggles with building that Meltrum deck because you can't get the classic warp, generator warp power. Oh, yeah. You can't so, get the yeah. things. So you're, you're forced to be like, I've got to defend, I've got to take six defend cards, six... Uh, secure secure cards. and if, six kill cards. If I was to change my list up, I'd be like, you know what, I'm just going to drop one of those defend cards. They're too hard to get. I'm just going to take a generator warp power. But guaranteed, I'm, I'm going to go for critical like, objective if I'd instead. Only taken three defend cards. I would have got three defends in yours. You could just you could discarded them straight away. You could discard them if okay. you've been playing good angels. I'm not convinced. It could be fun. I'm not convinced. Yeah. I think it might be slightly a limit to Tau where they can't take those things like. You know, generate a warp power. There's a couple of other ones. Blood and guts. That's not particularly useful for you. So there's two cards yeah, there, the which I could have taken. I could have taken blood and guts and the, and warp charge one if I'd had a cheap psyker. That would have been two points. 
I could have just had instead of my defend ones, which would have been yeah. much better because there's a cut. I actually burnt better two defend cards. I just got rid of them. I love utility lists and I love utility play, and you know. Having like a lot of different things in combined arms working together, you know, using meta game and you know meta tactics to, you know, really uh, work around your opponent and do whatever you need to, and you know this having 18 cards and building your own deck, it really supports that. So there is huge benefits to it. Mm. But I don't know. As I said, I'm just not convinced yet. The we'll last, see. the last thing I want, I want, to, I want to bring us back. I like when you take a few out. I don't mm. think just having 18 is enough. I want to bring us back. I want to wrap it up, but With I'm going to focus... Benefits on the new rules. Benefits on the new rules. I'm going to go... If you don't mind, I'm going to go first. Go for it. Okay. 18 inch rapid fire. If you are not taking that, you are. You need to go to your doctor. There's something wrong with you. And right? if you're not taking a shit turn of plasma in that. Yeah. You, it, you, it's so easy to just benefit from that trait. Plasma's seven points per, per guardsman squad. It's the cheapest option. Take a plasma and a bolter. Then your sergeant's got a rapid fire on that bolter. And you've got rapid fire on that plasma as well. And all your lasguns. And just first rank fire, second rank fire, return. Just do it. Yeah, so I mean, easy. Your, view, your longer term subscribers will know that you've been talking about plasma for years. And the pros and cons and whether you should take it. And whether it's a no brainer now. And at the moment, plasma is very much in vogue. My, last, my second point to make on the infantry one is... The plus one to the being in cover all the time. If you just don't advance... Take it every single time. Pyromaniacs yeah, I is shooting conscripts. I got so used to shooting the armored guys who were surviving that when I shot your normal guys, they fell apart. They so just fell apart and bled away. It's like I can't imagine you not having that now. Imagine you not always being cover if you take exactly. it. Exactly, the number one guard. It ruins the trimming the fat tactics that I always tell people to use against guard. Of just like doesn't matter who you, about who you're shooting and where to shoot the guys who aren't in cover because yeah. you need to trim the fat. But it doesn't matter now. It makes you... Do what you like. Against, I would say, at least 50% of Johnny's army, it made me 16% more survivable. And I didn't even exploit the crap out of that. Imagine if I had a Psyker in there giving me Psychic Barrier as well. That's another onto my armor save. Yeah. Imagine if I then start putting uh, Night Shroud on something. I one was command point to make him three up armor save. One command point to make him three up armor I didn't blob squad people. What I, if I was to change it slightly, I would consider dropping a tank, taking some Bulgrins, and making use of that new strategy which makes people behind the Bulgrins minus one to hit. Because then your minus one to hit always in cover and you can stack more minus one to hits on other units on your army. You can give other units on your army plus one save, other units on your army another minus one to hit, and then, and then psychic yeah. another one. So you've got potentially six squads with some kind of defensive buff in addition to always being in cover. Yeah, we're just scratching the surface at the moment. It's insane. Many tactical videos to come, I'm sure. And it's so good because it just basically counts as Carpe's. <clears throat> it basically counts as Carpe's armour. Just slowly marching across the field, daiquiring everything with 18-inch range rapid fire and just surviving the return. I cannot say it. I can't say how good, enough, how good it is. On my vehicles, very quickly, the gaining wounds back wasn't oh, as good right. as I thought. Nah, it's pretty mediocre. The problem with it is it, and someone pointed this out in in the video I did when I revealed when we when gave up to reveal the straight is, the opponent will just go fine. I'll just kill it. Yeah, which I'll is what just... you find all the time against Hawk Shroud knights. I have a knight army, and I love Hawk Shroud and use Hawk Shroud as because I like Imperial and I like call. I like to have uh, p traitors pyre and burn people. Yeah, yeah. The flame and blah blah blah. I've got my reasons, but you do find that. Sometimes you don't get use of your house trick because people just sink a knight in one go. If I've got to kill it, I'll just kill it. Yeah, and that's the same with Lemurus. It's the what I always do as well. Sometimes not, you have, I usually sink as many as I can and have one as well. I'm not sure what I'd change it to at this point, but, but just yeah. be aware it's not as good as it sounds. In it's, terms of the Tau, now I'm no Tau expert. It was almost impossible for me to pick traits because they were so good. The one that allows you to have plus two to your jetpack move, plus one to your soul, uh, advance. advance, would be great. With my stealth suits, uh, there's you know there's so many brilliant options. Stealth suits had extra range and extra AP. I think it's difficult to beat that. Yeah, yeah. I think with the list I've got, it makes it's them more powerful. To beat. The burst cannons. The thing is that one really only benefits burst cannons. But with crisis suits in, they've got that stratagem now that lets them reroll once to hit, once to wound. Blah 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 blah. blah. They do everything, don't yeah. they? Basically. So if you had crisis suits with a ton of cheap burst, burst cannons, cannons strapped on there. Extra AP, ATS, as well. ATS. So you could give. So you can have, is so cheap. So you can have two guys, each with a double burst cannon. 
Yeah, double three burst guys, three guys, yeah, but then you can't have ATS. Ah, so double burst cannon, ATS, extra AP, and extra range. Yeah. Just. Yeah, it's like my stealth suits, but even more rerolls yeah. and stuff. It's like my stealth suits, but with three markers. Yeah. Points. So you can uh, take three squads of stealth suits with that, and three uh, burst cannons, crisis suits, crisis suits. Just or just take one big nine man squad and use the new drop down and just destroy people's Everything. strategy. I mean, you know, where you get all Death the extra The wounds. original. Death Star. Death Star. I remember when the term Death Star originally came about, and it was because Farsight bomb's of back. Farsight, Farsight bomb. bomb is back. The Farsight bomb Death Star was the first, like before Beast Packs, before what are those flying things that Zinch have? Oh, before Screamer Star, before Beast Star, Star before, before Wolf of Star. Stars, it was it was Farsight, Farsight bomb. Star. Farsight bomb. And you know, I've not even looked at the rules, but with well, I have looked at the rules. A quick glance at the rules. Farsight is looking good. Games Workshop are going to start shifting a lot of those crisis models yeah. that I've been gathering. They're going to start selling shelves, a lot of start crisis. collecting so, uh, start collecting yeah, sets. Do you want? I'm, I'm probably going to go get me a start collecting box. Which you would never right thought you'd do. You haven't no. improved your I've army. Put in. off buying <laughs> more tile forever, but now why not? And we've already talked obviously about the hammerhead one, so we we know how good that is. The the extra ones and the smart four, missile systems being plus great. Plus four inches on the fusion. Oh yeah. And then, just that, that plus four inches on assault weapons and extra. I, I, you never I'm even got into fusion ever. range. You just stayed back and just fusioned the crap out of things at, at range. Yeah, I'd rather be at 22 inch range. Perfectly safe. 22 inch range is only two inches less than 24, which is like basically starting in your safe zone. Mm. Do you know what I mean? It's just great. It's just absolutely. It like I didn't think it would make that much of a difference. And then when we played, every single turn I was just oh I'll be in cover. Oh, remember, and fusion range. You don't range. necessarily have to be 22 inches away. A lot of the time I was 20 inches away, which is further than 18, but I was in cover yeah. at 20 inches. So it just means you can just get that little bit closer, still be safe. Mm. It's just, if you play it right, as I said at the very beginning, I bet they playtested six and thought, this is too This is too broken. much, yeah. We've got to go down to four, and yeah, four is pretty fucking broken. Yeah. So, both, so <laughs> summary, so, total quick summary, the new traits are great. If you built... The Tau ones are almost inbuilt, slightly more optimised than the Gar ones. The Simply... Tau let you not have to mess around with marker lights as much. I feel that's the general mm. shift. Is like, it's not fully marker light yeah. reliant anymore. You've got a little bit of independence. Yeah, but just really quickly, the Tau ones are sort of, The guard ones you have to build around a little bit. The Tau ones you can slot them in. They're really good. I would think if we had two armies which are built around their traits it would have probably would have been another draw thank god we've broken that streak that would have been the Two fourth draws. fifth draw in the row it was game ridiculous I can't remember, yeah. so unfortunately the guy did lose but i would say the new traits are absolutely fantastic the tactics we showed off you know the guard slamming into the towel and the towel just had come on turn six come on turn seven and then the guard crumbled and the towel could break break through that showed off those tactics we showed off tactics we showed the traits Think overall. I liked the cinematics of this rush across from the s scenery mm. to the uh, the sort of eighty guys who had to run there to this sort of fortified bunker complex with the towel dug into it. Yeah, and I mean we they almost didn't broke. Manage. They almost yeah. We they, almost we they, almost they did broke it. Broke in, and they did do work, yeah. but the towel drove them back. Yeah, they did truly defend. We got we got right to the bloody end though, right to the right to the auto cannons, right to the auto cannons, and so Icarus battery. Gonna have to cut it off there, guys. The battery's getting low, voice is getting hoarse, it's getting late here. But I think hopefully that was a really really useful uh, display for you guys and the power. Thank God, Games Workshop haven't broken Tau, they haven't broken Guard. If you take two nice lists against each other and you you play a proper game of forty k, then. Games Workshop was given both so of these forces options. an appropriate boost. Yeah. Good guy, Games Workshop. Let's yeah, see. Good. I'm loving it. Now, I'm the loving next it. thing, next thing, Gene Seducal. I haven't even looked at their stuff yet, but I bet it's pretty sneaky. I'll get my, I'll try and build my uh, Blood, Blood Angels up together and we'll have pure infantry versus uh, Gene Seducal or something. Yeah. Next something like that. Battle report very soon. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave lots of comments. I'm sure we made lots of mistakes. Please tell us because we need to learn for our next battle reports. Me and Johnny have agreed we're going to try and start churning these out a little bit more. Hope you guys enjoyed this, and of course, I'll see you guys next time.